Yo, yo, testing, testing, Just perfect. Asi, congrats, guys. You, uh, you made a mark in the scene. Oh, Everybody you. knows about you. You're, you're famous and infamous, so it's a good, uh, it's a good start. Known unknown. Yeah. Well, infamous is known for bad is being famous for bad reasons, uh, I'll which, take it. which I'll definitely take. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have a feeling everything that starts, if you want to make a, if you want to get yourself known, you got to start a bit infamous and then build yourself up well, to being it's, famous. It's definitely, so a, it's definitely a strategy. <laughs> it's a strategy it's to a strategy, take. Yeah. It's a strategy to take. Uh, it's not the most popular. Like uh, Britney Spears didn't start that way, you know, but she ended up that way. Yeah, crazy. I think yeah. Two years in, you gotta have a, like a pussy yeah. slip or something. Uh, yeah, like, I'll shave your... my head and show my balls. <laughs> yeah. Let's one <laughs> ball out yeah, coming right. out of a limousine yeah, or that's something. Good. That's gonna happen. That's a good. That's, that's probably happen. already happened. Five, four, three, two, one. Kaboom! <laughs> <laughs> Explosions! Explosions! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Joeful Podcast. We got another episode for you guys. And as always, to the right of me, the semen demon, aka always creaming, your favorite feminist, favorite feminist, A to the tracks. I feel like some of those were recycled. Nope, not at all. To my left, to your right. Never. Dr. Jew, medicine woman, <laughs> aka the kosher roller coaster, the magnificent matzah, my boy. DJ Teeks. <laughs> and who we got? Who we got today, bro? Today we got a special, special guest, Amir Rez. Yeah, 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 yeah. AKA up, Vincent Van Blow. All right. AKA, you don't even know, the host of Starry Night on Instagram. Lend and me your ears. Lend me your ears. That's what Another also what Mike story. Tyson said to Holy Oh, <laughs> nice. And what Van Gogh said to himself. I guess. Uh, she cut off his ears, eh? Touche. 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 So, I'm a res, I'm a ladies and gentlemen. Hey, fellas. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Grab, for a, being grab here. a beer there, just even if you don't open it. Thank yeah, you know, you, you Actually, fuck you. Open the beer. <laughs> <laughs> Peer pressure, man. If yeah, I yeah. took a hit. It's, it's our... Uh, L'chaim. Ah, I like that. Oh, it's like true. That. Let's, let's so let's get the elephant out of the room here. So we're making we're making <laughs> peace. You, we have an we have an a, a, a Muslim. Well, eh, well eh. I'm circumcised. That's that's, that's how far it goes. <laughs> Is it, why <laughs> Muslims aren't circumcised? Why did you check at the door then? I'm always like, wait, yeah. I, that, that was just that was a just, circumcised that was just, meter. <laughs> that was just me grabbing your dick. <laughs> I do that every way that comes in. No, but so no, like so like we're business. not we're not. This is like it's it, this is like revolutionary right but now. We're not you guys are killing each other because I barely consider myself Jewish. He barely considers himself Muslim. Yeah. If we were devout, we would be fighting each other on the table right now. Yeah, you also but probably we, wouldn't be my friends. But we you guys <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, but we shared some. Pita I actually, I still don't know you yet. So we, we shared <laughs> some pita and hummus backstage. And, uh, Which we, is a common. Um, we, yeah, this is how. Yeah, we, and we also break the, the, the Hummus, not Hamas. Uh, hummus. The, the degradation of women too. You guys both share in common, uh, right? Big fan. <laughs> but we're not devout. No. Yeah, we see. So we it's have, like half. Exactly. We do we do the one hand, but we don't come back with the back hand. Like, like they, they both they both agree. Rest, it's like, it's consent like first. Like Israeli <laughs> consent. <laughs> Israeli <laughs> Palestine. We don't know which one is better, but then we know that the women are. <laughs> we don't know which one is better, but, <laughs> but we, we know, know the, the women. The women are. They, they they agree on that. You know. It's like back in the day. I love the fact guys that we're starting small and then we're gonna. Bring yeah, we're gonna I don't know what we're gonna end with. This is. Well, you tell me. Just don't explode on me over here. Oh, no, I'm man. kidding. But you you say you're not uh, you're not religious. You're no, not. Uh, no, I don't no. think so. No. But like, but, but tell me the truth. When the when the planes hit, a little part of you went like, yeah. <laughs> yes. did, did you, did you, you know what's crazy? When uh, I remember when the plane hits, like everybody remember what happened. I remember I went to school and there was a there was like a fellow Arab and she was happy. I'm like, what the really? Fuck is really? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. yeah. But that's, you don't even like. Up. I don't know if this is a compliment or a diss, but you don't look. Like uh, story of my fucking life, bro. Welcome to half of my jokes. What do, you, yeah, what do, you yeah, get? Yeah, what do people yeah. give you usually? I uh, usually get like Romanian. That's exactly what yeah. I was gonna say. Uh, French, yeah. uh, Ukrainian, just poor USSR. Like just a poor <laughs> country. The, the bad part of yeah, exactly. The Soviet Union. Yeah, you not, look, not, poor, not you look more poor than you yeah, should. Yeah. Not <laughs> Russian. <laughs> no, no, not Russian. The, the oppressed part. I smile. I have feelings yeah. that I never you get. You came Russian. from this gulag in particular. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know. But well, that being said, you're, you're a good looking guy. Thank you, you sir. got you got Thank the you. height. You know, uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure you 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 pound that so you pussy. Got, you got the girth. In my young well, days, it was nice. It was good. It How was old are you? Good days. I'm 36. 36. Yeah. yeah, and he carries it well. Uh, oh, yeah, you, uh, fuck. We're, so we're telling uh, we're telling Peter Black. Getting my dick sucked tonight, bro. This is great. Yeah. Fuck. Arab. Whether you like it or not, Arab cracks less than black. Yeah, if that's a real thing. Yeah. Neutrogena, guys. Neutrogena. That's Neutrogena. the secret. Neutrogena. Neutrogena every day. Are you smuggling are you, assault from the Dead Sea? Uh, <laughs> are you one of those guys? Or are you? Are you? A, are you a skin? Are you a skin guy? Routine. Are you? Do you have a? Do you have a, a toiletry bag that's bigger than like? Uh, I, uh, I my weed bag. I, I wash my face. And then I put cream on. This is so like, the answer I put is the, yes. I put the Neutrogena, like the one you use. To yeah, jack but do you off, have special pads? A little bit. 
No, no, I don't have. Okay, okay you don't have the tights. Yeah, those are for like makeup remover. Yeah. Yeah. The only skincare that's I get Saturday night. This that's is, okay. That's uh, off the, to the drag queen. The thing. only thing my, that comes close to skincare is when I come and it shoots extra far that I, I thought it was gonna. I thought it was gonna just land on my chest, but sometimes it'll hit my cheek, you know. And then I have like the smoothest cheek for like yeah. a week. What does your sister say when she's ah, in the room? Nice. <laughs> that's never heard that one before on this show. <laughs> no. <laughs> these, are, these are good years when you can like actually come and end up ends up on your face. Enjoy these years. Like it, I know you, you look at these memories with nostalgia. Yeah, well, when you're not yeah. able to get it on your own face, you got to start going for other people. <laughs> that's what it comes down to. When you can't come on your own face, that's it's when you a, start. It's going a slow for decline. It. I gotta say, it's yeah. a slow decline. Uh, I'm, I came, I, I I came can't on my come chin. like I used to when I, I was twenty. I came, I came on my chin yesterday. I know it's almost over. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't got many left. It's all down from here. Yeah, it's all down. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. It's a sad drip, as we said before. Well, how did yeah. we get it's into this? Drip. Like it's two minutes in and coming on our own faces. <laughs> I'm right on brand, guys. This uh, is exactly you're right where we are. You're fitting in good here. I think you're gonna do. That's well what you then. expect when your icon is a middle finger, right? Yeah. Yeah. We we're gonna put two fingers. but It was, you know, copywritten. Was it? I don't know. Speaking about copywritten, we want to, uh, I, I don't know what the fuck oh. that was, but uh, we want to give thanks to this, this episode, don't sleep. Like, uh, like all others, has been brought to you by Bongi at getbongia.com Bongia. for all your bongs, papers, rolling accessories. Plus hashtag go higher. Hashtag go higher. And if you type in uh, Jofo Mofo 10, even if, you don't, even if you don't smoke weed, just buy stuff yeah. so we look better. Exactly. You know? And Jofo Mofo 10, get 10% off your order. Uh-huh. That, yeah, that's true. What? That's great. So, yes. uh, you know. If you ever need a bong, it's a good gift. I for mean, your you could have washed it, guys. I'm just saying. It's also you know, a phase. I mean, yes, we did. This is from the last episode. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, I, I know. Bong, that's what happens to bongs. You should see the rest of the house, bro. I don't know. It's, <laughs> no, it's quite clean. Working, I was impressed. A bong, fuck. I would have known. You should see the toilet. <laughs> Why are toilets white? You ever, you ever ask yourself that? I think this is going to be like George Costanza and just bring up toilets. <laughs> that's that's a say. question you should ask Peter Bowen. I'm just saying, oh. guys. <laughs> Peter Bowen in the house, by the way. Shout out Peter Bowen, Peter 34. Peter Bowen in the house. The 34. The 34. Yeah, so we yeah, had so our fa fair share of race jokes. So. Tell, yeah, it was fun. It was a good time. It was a good time. Check that episode out. Don't forget. Yeah. It may have been last week or maybe <laughs> next week. We're not sure we'll, yet. We'll I broke the fourth wall. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> All the time. Uh, tell us a uh, starry night here. Lend me yes, your sir. ears. Yeah. For another yeah. You, you starry smacked night. out 75 episodes. Yeah, it's fucking impressive, man. Like, uh, yeah. in, in quarantine. They're not all good, guys. I just want to let you know. It's, it's uh, Does it matter? quality over quantity, I guess, at this point. The, the way the I saw it. Quantity over quality, you mean? You, yeah, quantity over yes. quantity. Yeah, that's over what quality. I meant to say. Yeah. yeah. You're like the it's Chinese buffet in. of podcasts right now. <laughs> no, I, no, no. But either way, no, but you're doing it. You, you, like, you're basically asking comedians. Like you're asking them about their how they got into comedy and everything. And it's a mix of everything, honestly. With some people, you know, when you know them well, the, the conversation just, just flows and you don't get the to the time. questions. And with some others, you really gotta, you know, pull them That's out. That's exactly right, right, right. With yeah, some yeah. others, you don't know like how far you can go. Like if I open with you know misogyny and then jizzing on you know on, yeah. on faces, that would have been like a full paw with a few comedians. Unless we're on, I, of course, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you had fewer. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw the list. There's some, some fucking heavy hitters on the list. Yeah, yeah. You know, you had like you had people. Yeah. Oh, like I had people, indeed. Yeah, today's guest for the first time canceled. So that's uh. Oh really? Yeah. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that you went with the gender neutral them, just because you don't know who it is. I like exactly. that uh, respect. Uh, no, well, you know, in that case, if it's gonna, have, it's gonna offend them, then <laughs> fuck it or her or whatever. I don't. I'm really like against that. Like people are gonna do something with their body, and then I gotta change what I do with my my mouth, my vernacular. It's not doesn't work. I, cut off your dick or, or <laughs> yeah. slap How on some dare tits, but you don't tell me what tell to say. Tell me what to tell you. Yeah, like that's not. No, I mean, I mean like you, I, you, you, you could choose to answer this or not, but what's your opinion in that? Like you're going to get, somebody's going to get mad at you yeah. because you like, especially if it's a mis It's uh, like, I won't go out of my way to be offensive. I, uh, in yeah, person. for sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, not a dick. Yeah, I, I fully agree. I mean, I don't want to, you know, any, hurt anybody's feelings. So if, let's say, I misgender somebody and like, oh, by the way, I'm a blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, I'll just call you blah, blah, blah. Sorry. Yeah. I right. have like three close friends and they're all males. But anybody else, I'll see them once a week or once a month. So I don't mind, you know. Uh, basically. Yeah. yeah. No, but that's, that's, that's basically it, right? And when do you use somebody's third pronoun? You know what I mean? Like, like I'm talking to you. Yeah. I'm never going to say he. <laughs> Well, not, not yeah. because, because I'm sane and I haven't cut off my <laughs> penis yet. No, no, but and I have a yet, fucking. Yet, no, yet, 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 says, you, you know, no, let's say you were a Zer. Let's say you identify as a Zer. Let's assume. What the fuck is that? It's I a don't know. Gender just, pronoun. Exactly. Uh, you're, it's, a, it's a new gender pronoun. I'm, I'm never, you, you know, like you're, that's the third person. It's like, I, yo, yeah, 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 I, yeah. oh, no, wait. Fuck, I smoked too much weed. <laughs> I, you, 
he, they. She, he, she, it, they. Like, I never talking to you use a third person talking about you. So it would be like they, so I don't, using they as is what you're saying? Whatever. They, they, sir. It, it's just a weird situation to actually get yourself into. They're yeah, fags exactly. for right. other reasons. They're not, like, you know, not, not gay, just fags. <laughs> we've, we've explained this uh, yeah, on yeah, the show yeah. before. Gay, gay doesn't mean fat. Uh, people, somebody that sucks another guy's dick, by the way. That's yeah. It fat means, fag it, it is means a, someone it's who. It's a bushel uh, of hay, it's a bushel of sticks, to be politely correct. Yeah, or someone who doesn't want to fucking put their tie their shoes and fucking go out when we're all ready to go out, you know? That's a fag. Fuck, yeah, I guess so, that so makes we, me a fag. <laughs> <laughs> we're all yeah, fags. We're all fags. I've been, been a fag. I've been a fag. Uh, what the fuck? I wanted to I wanted to bring something up, but I totally forgot. I might have written it down though. Speak amongst yourselves. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> where did you say you were from? Uh, uh, originally from Lebanon. Okay. And uh, what, where I live now? Yeah, I well, live, let's get yeah. start with start with the start with the. Uh, <laughs> let's start all the way back. You were born in Lebanon. I was born in Lebanon, indeed. Oh, that's cool. In, yeah. Well, so b- both your parents? Yeah, both my parents are Lebanese. I think. Straight that's, Lebanese. Think if your father is your father. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> milkman. Yeah. They have milkman in Lebanon. Goat milk. I think, I think it's Uzi uh, man. Like, just deliver the <laughs> Uzi. Like, here's your grenades for the day. Israeli made Uzis. <laughs> yeah. They're in cahoots. Israeli, Uzis come from uh, is- Israel. Eh? It's the one percent, man. <laughs> don't oh, get yeah. me started. Oh, uh, that where you were going with this? <laughs> There's, they don't have a religion. It's the fucking one percent. <laughs> They'll sell guns to anybody. Pieces of shit. You were saying that you were you were going on a, a rant, just rant or like on a tirade about the one percent. Okay. What, he said what that's why your... he didn't want to drink beer because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because exactly. like, he, he thinks too much about. It just multiplies his emotions. I thought the one percenters were like hell's angels. <laughs> no, no. Said, it's like they the thirty percent or something. No, but like that's the majority. They have Quebec. They have one percenter on their on their thing. Oh, maybe that's just one of their factions. No, it's because there's one. I, I, there's a reason. Anyways, it's a joke. But oh. uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> get me a beer there so we can do a, so we can do a segment. And uh, thanks. Okay, so what the fuck is a one percenter? Like one percent is the rich motherfuckers at the exactly. top. Exactly. They don't have a religion. They're just assholes. They're I mean, godless men. Yes. Okay. Like myself. And what? So, <laughs> Except the rich. So like this. This is this is how Still your life goes. Yeah. Uh, Amrit drinks a beer. He's like, all right, two percent. <laughs> he started at five percent. Started at five percent. The fucking four top beers, five percent. Four beers in, he's like, you know what? Now it's down to the one percenters. Now, now I'm really just, like. Oh, you see, I, I would see it differently. I would see it like I would start just shitting on the one percent, and by the time I'm drunk, I'm oh, shitting on everybody. Uh, like, the, the, the top by, twenty. By the ten, you're, by the end, you're <laughs> just a straight up racist. Yeah, exactly. These homeless, <laughs> these homeless motherfuckers. You've got down the ninety nine percent. Anybody Fucking that has me now, yeah. Mother priests. Teresa, what a cunt! I can't like just yeah. shitting on every single human being ever. It's a slippery slope. It is hate, a slippery hate slope. Hate is a slippery slope. Yeah, it is. But we we do it on the regular without beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We shit well, on the ninety nine percent on the reg. Difference between hate, like hate and like no, it's not hate. I'm sure when he was saying it, it wasn't hate. No, no he it sounds like he was hating. He can't. <laughs> if, if, I sound too serious. I gotta. I don't know. I gotta loosen up a no, little. I'm just, I'll, yes, I'll keep drinking. Drink a beer. <laughs> take a bong toke. Let's let's do uh, our one of our favorite segments. It's chug a beer for you, Joe Fomofos. Chugging beers. You don't have to chug, but we're just gonna take a sip and. Uh, there we go. It's for you guys. That's for uh, grab a beer. Chug with us, mofos. Holy shit! I might puke. That's a. Uh, it's oh, a stop for me right okay. here. Okay, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? The one percent. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> the, is, so is that is that the Illuminati? Yeah. Well, listen, I, listen. I have nothing to do all day long, so I've been just watch. I started watching The Sopranos. I finished The Sopranos. Amazing, amazing, great that's fucking a show. Leap. You went through a leap right there. There was nothing left to watch. So I'm like, I'm not gonna start The Wire. I'm gonna wait to like wave two of coronavirus to watch The Wire. <laughs> It's too serious, you know. I can't. It's too Have depressing. Have you seen the way? No, seen no, it? I never seen oh, the way. Exactly. Me God, either. McNulty. Me so either. I'm like, I don't know what to watch, and I just I started watching. Uh, I'm like, oh, I'm, I started watching the, uh, not so, David Launstein. No, David Launstein is a friend of ours. What's the name of the pedophile? David Epstein. David Epstein. Sorry. Oh, Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein. Epstein. Jeffrey Epstein. Friend of mine. Yeah. David Epstein <laughs> is another somebody I know. Okay. So yeah. Another pedophile. Da- another. Pe- I don't know. <laughs> Who, Listen, knows? Man. Who knows? <laughs> So oh, what's the name? Son. Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. And I was, fir- first of all, he didn't kill himself. You saw the documentary? I saw the documentary. Yeah. On, uh, I saw the documentary. You saw it too. Yeah. What? I, I was looking at it. I'm like, dude, just wait four years. Like, this is, just wait four years and get yourself a 20-year-old hooker and nobody would have ever known about you ever again. But here's that's the thing. True. I but thought that's true. That's no it. fun. I thought about it, but <laughs> I mean, this guy, this, fucking, this guy is to the point, bro. You know how many 20-year-olds he he's has, banged? He's it. That's it. He's had, he, he, he's he, had it up to here. He has... 
<laughs> so much money. Yeah, that's that's that what he could fuck anything he wants, and he did. Yeah, yeah. But what's the one thing that is is like? I say different strokes for different folks. <laughs> 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 but you know, you know what's crazy. You know what's crazy about to reach his own. If, if you say, uh, if you saw, if you saw the thing, you, you know what I couldn't stand about it. You know when they're saying when they're interviewing all the all the women that he was yeah. with there, they peg them. At, like, Survivor. They, they peg Survivor. them. Oh, I missed that part. <laughs> they peg them. They, they label them and as. Then, a, then they flog them. They label them as Epstein survivors. Yeah. You know? But I'm thinking Survivor, Survivor. But who did this guy kill? Go, oh. He didn't even kill himself. Hey. Oh. Ah, yeah, ah. hey. Good joke that I made last week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I put it together. <laughs> so? Just kidding. It's it teamwork, guys. It's teamwork. Okay. It's teamwork. Ah. Fuck you. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. love. Yeah, boy. No. No, but it was honestly like the amount of money he has and the. the had. And it was just had. Had. Yeah. <laughs> And just the power and all the people he met. I don't. I didn't like the fact like when they got to like, and then they put him in prison, and then he got died. And yeah. then they, <laughs> yeah. they, they really skipped the part. Like, and then bye like bye. Seven episodes of like how yeah. we got there, and then he died. Okay, and that yeah. was that. Yeah. I'm like, come on. The end. Yeah. I mean, uh, something fishy went on there. His 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 island looked like fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah. If you had to, if, amazing. If you had to choose there or Neverland, <laughs> where are you going? Oof. How old am I? <laughs> Good question. Yeah. Am I going as a 36 year old man or a 12 year old boy? Good, good question. That's it. Yeah. What if you're, if you're going, it, it has a lot to do with how old you are when you're going to either of these islands. Plus, uh, what, am when, I invited by whom? You know, yeah, like, when, when you, Michael Jackson was are alive? Are you awake when you're going there? Am no, I giving massages? When, when MJ was alive? Yeah, well, obviously. Mm. Okay. Was it an island? Did he have an island or just a park? No, it was just a ranch. Just a ranch. I think it was landlocked. Just a beautiful black ranch. Yeah. No, but the island was. He had sick. a monkey. The, I, I, Michael Jackson just for the monkey, bro. Monkey. Yeah. That's true. Uh, there are probably, probably monkeys on Epstein's yeah. island, yeah, and yeah. you could probably fuck them. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. <laughs> and they have experience. <laughs> they have experience. <laughs> They're <laughs> HIV negative. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. But uh, I, like Prince. Why am I actually the... thinking about an answer to this question? <laughs> <laughs> because it's. Uh, I don't like, I'm like I'm I'm weighing like the. It's okay. a lose lose. It's a lose lose. There's no lose. there's no well, winners. You know, it would be nice to meet Bill Clinton just to shake his hand. You know, like hey, what's the secret to success? Yeah. And, 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 and what, how's Prince, Ma- what's Monica like? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and Prince uh, was it Prince? That was a Pus- big one. One of, the, one of one of the Dukes there. I didn't know Prince, Prince Andrew, Andrew existed. Did you guys know that there was a guy named Prince Andrew until we found out about him? No. No, but there's all kinds of like hierarchy shit that yeah, we I don't know any of them. There's yeah. these people that are literally their jobs are to be royalty. Their, their the, job is like they, they have no job. They're that's the, the thing. Duke. I'm a Duke of this. What the fuck is a Duke? Duke of Arlington. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't like the fact that nobody everybody when when like the whole thing came out, everybody was like, Yeah, of course, Prince Andrew. Like, nobody you know who the fuck Prince Andrew is. Yeah, they course. chose him because he was like a D list celebrity in the political world. Yeah. And you're like, well, you know, he's a scapegoat and we'll, we'll just keep the well, bigger and we guys. Have, we have pictures of him. It's a yeah. it's a shoe, it's a shoe thing, it's a shoe. But how do you know he wasn't just there to fucking, you know, soak up the sun? Yeah, you know, yeah, it's true. He needed some there's not a lot of sun in England. In England? I, I see. The problem with, with this some documentary. Vitamin a, lot of, a lot of suicide, not a lot the of sun. The problem with this documentary is and you can leave now if you want. Or is is, <laughs> is it will be like wrestling? Peter Bowen, high five, and then you take my spot. Is you know who the problem is? Is these? It's the the bitches. The biggest problem was the women there that were recruiting yeah. the fucking other people. Yeah, they're fucking and then crazy. They wanna, they're and the then crazy they, ones. And then they want to play the victim card after. My, my, he made yeah. me get these girls. My, my so initial feeling was that he paid for my fucking my Ferrari, my tuition, my apartment. <laughs> what a terrible guy! Yeah, my breast and teeth yeah. implants. Yeah. Everything, you know? And he sent my, my sister to Spain. Yeah, he yeah. sent my sister yeah. to Spain. Vaginal rejuvenation, a, family round. My, my initial my initial feeling was George. I'm like, oh, these fucking, I can't believe. But then I'm like, they were fucking 17. Oh, you yeah? know, they were kids. Uh-huh. They were kids. They were kids. You know, you can easily. The recruiters? Yeah. yeah oh, they, they were kids. You know what I mean? Don't give me that shit. Nah, they were kids. They don't give me that shit. You were 17. I'm pretty sure you recruited a few. <laughs> The, the problem is, is I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it until it, the well runs dry, and then fucking try to play the victim after. That's what pisses me off, mm. bro. Like That's it's, it. It, 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 it's one thing. I'll agree with that part because the, the one thing is the only reason these people came through is when the fucking cops said, "Well, you just implemented your." You saw the video. Yeah. You just implemented yourself it. into the. You are almost as uh, as in trouble as this guy. You're literally. Trying to get these girls to pimp for you, you know, and she's like, oh, "Okay, well then I changed my story, you know." Like, Pimping ain't easy. Only when it doesn't, when it's not good for them. Like, come on, I I can't stand. I, listen, shit. I understand your anger. 
I understand your anger. I feel like a, Do you? Feel like Do a you? Because he's right like now. 10 beers in. He was talking a little bit about this yeah. before, and now he's fucking. And, and I get the full rough feeling. Like, I understand your feeling. I'm not, I'm not condoning what the fuck he did. I'm not saying, I'm not saying anything. You heard it here first, guys. I'm not saying these people deserve to be put in that situation. What I'm saying is that. Yeah. The, the fucking the punishment should be equal across the board. We shouldn't start fucking saying if yeah, if if it gives you any respite, is that the right word? Uh what is that? Like, solace. Solace. Okay. I'm pretty sure a lot of people think exactly like you and hate them even more. But that's not so you know what I mean. Like that, just to get in front of the camera, and say like, "Yes, they I." They don't ever them. tell anyone, but they do feel the same yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why we do this show. I, I, I could care less what, what people. Th- what, what so yeah, that's, the, that's the hour is not yours. Is everybody uh, the, the the silent majority? Yeah. <laughs> You speak. Oh, that's good. I like that. Just our yeah, fucking well, opinion. Okay. Oh, you know what? Maybe yeah. that's. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that actually <laughs> works. Uh, that actually yeah, yeah, really yeah, works. Yeah. We're, we're for the peop- people. We there. speak for the ninety nine percent. We speak for the one percenters. <laughs> yeah, but the bottom one yeah. percent. Yeah. Uh, listen, I, I, I see. What, as I said, I feel your anger. I understand, but I honestly think it's. Uh, they they have to live with that. You know what I mean? They have to live with, with, with that. With the Ferrari? Uh, no, they don't. Have, I don't think they have the Ferrari anymore. Plus, it's like a 1992 Ferrari. I'm pretty sure. Listen, they don't know how to take care of cars. They're, yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, give probably it two years. Yeah. Four clutches in the first week. <laughs> exactly. It's just. It's... So imagine, man. Everybody know that when you were 17, you recruited uh, hookers for one of the biggest pedophiles ever. That's that's a, that's a I horrible idea. I put that on my resume. Right there. <laughs> I, I work for Epson. It might work you know, uh, you in know how, your favor. Yeah. Senior recruiter. Like yeah. I started that's as it. a junior. I that's made it. my exactly. way up. That's exactly. Yeah. Like, that's like those bullshit titles they give you. You know, <laughs> it's it's tantamount to working at McDonald's. C C R O S R O C R O Senior Recruiting Officer at Epstein Inc. You know, oh, I, 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 I couldn't believe we could do it, but we're doing it, guys. We're going step by step. This step is getting, step, yeah, step, step this is great. By yeah, step. yeah, there's only one. We only go down from here. Yeah. Yeah, so anyways, as always. So right, I what's, started, more, what's next? What's worse? I, I started with the Epstein thing, and yeah. I'm like, holy crap! I, I didn't know people were so, had so much money. Like you hear about that's what, people. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's, it's ins- crazy. It's insane. And then they, you know, Netflix, you know, supervises you, and they saw that I watched it. Then they recommended Filthy Rich. Yeah. Okay. And I watched like four hours of I that. I saw that one too. Oh, and that's that, a show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about uh, people, corrupt people, corrupt governments, just taking money. By the way, I don't know. Maybe it was me. I was just gullible. I thought when you're like corrupt and you steal money from the people, it's like, oh, he stole 20 millions. No, no. $8.1 billion. Yeah. I'm like, fuck you. Because of inflation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah when I was young, when I was like, planning, yeah, they stole yeah. twenty million yeah. when I was young. When I was young, twenty mil don't cut it no more, kiddo. Billions, billions. It's insane. Billions. But how are you getting ripped off like that, though? But the worst part is, like, we know about it and nothing has happened. Yeah. To them, it's, well, like, they're in jail. it's like they're the source of all the problems. Not, not all of them are in jail. No, none of them are in jail. Like, like the whole two thousand eight. All right, listen, I'm going to start saying facts right now, and okay. none of them are true, well, all right? Okay, just act as they are. I was going to say, you can say whatever you want. I was just going to say, know, right. I'm going to start tr- dropping numbers, but none of them well, that's are what, probably that's correct. That's a politician in you. That, when, uh, <laughs> oh, that's a, oh, I feel insulted right now, bro. Why? <laughs> Calling me a po- I hate these guys. It's the revolutionary well, you just, you just, in him. You just said that you are going to tell all No, no, I'm just not true. brave. I, don't, I'm, I would love to be a revolutionary, but I'm just not a brave man. Me either. I have this crazy thought that people should do while I stay at home and smoke my shisha. This is basically all the time. All the time. Big thoughts right big, up here. Huge. Big thoughts. I've, I've changed the world up here. Dude, right here, we're living in Atlantis or whatever the fucking place <laughs> is called where everything was perfect. Heaven? Yeah. <laughs> you don't, you don't believe in heaven. No, it's Jews don't believe in hell. Oh, Valhalla, sorry. based on that. Uh, Valhalla? Is oh, that love, the, yeah. love that. That's Valhalla? The warriors, That's the, the Vikings. I, I was listening to uh, the one with uh, Gabe before coming here. By the way, oh, yeah. I know him for five years. I've called him Gabe. Apparently, it's Gab. Well, that's what he said. I asked him. He <laughs> yeah, goes, call me whatever you want. Gabe. Because it's Gabriel. Yeah. So or Gabe. Gabriel, but Gab. Nobody, no, no. Nobody calls him Gabriel. Sounds, no. Gabriel. Yeah, it's Gabriel French. Omasi. Yes, that, that is weird. Gabriel. It, is, uh, it does seem weird. Gabriel. Omasi. You speak Omasi. French? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so I just watched like five hours of this and I got into do- fucking uh, YouTube. It's not a great place to get Ooh. the documentaries and I'm just like, fuck. Go down some holes. Some Everybody. Deep holes. Like, like anybody who owns a building bigger than 20 floors, I just fucking kill him. Like honestly, just get rid of... That's very oh. That's very like your people. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> we'll, we'll need to... We'll need to a terrorist because it's like a... <laughs> 
<laughs> one for each 10 Bruno floors. Bruno saw that coming. <laughs> yeah, before from a I, mile before away. Before I even I said it. From a mile yeah. away. I, like, I didn't even get the... For just to be, if, any, if there's anybody... It's Bruno's racist, not me. Okay? I had to say it to make Bruno look crazy. Because he was waiting for it. Listen, my, my anger is only money fueled when I see it. Honestly, man, uh, just crazy. Fueled, fueled, crazy. Fueled with fuel. <laughs> fuel. Money is great fuel. Yeah, Anger burns uh, steel beams. That's all I uh, yeah, am here to say. We, we literally said that in the last one. Oh, <laughs> sorry to sorry to cut you off. Like, no worries, uh, man. Yeah. So what kind of what kind of what kind of fucking rabbit hole did you get into yeah, uh, yeah. recently? The the last one I saw uh, is a documentary called The Yes Man, when it's okay. like two guys and they say like, oh, we work for you know I don't know some big company and they go to conferences and they just say crazy things. Let's say you had a, I think there was a chemical company who I think like five or six thousand people died in India because of an explosion that happened there. Okay. And the company didn't want to pay back the Indian people because they're like, well, we'll just buy the you know the government officials. We don't have to pay. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, so yeah. they went on the CBC as a representative of that company, and they said, oh yeah, we're gonna give sixteen point seven billion dollars. Again, don't check the numbers. Like bit like eighteen billion dollars to the victims. <laughs> so we, since you said don't check the numbers, I'll keep changing them now. <laughs> yeah, sixty so, billion yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Forty-five billion dollars. <laughs> that anyway, trillion. And and then the government had to, not the government, the company had to come and say, no, 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 we didn't agree on this. And then it it brought it back to light. You know, is after this a years. conspiracy or this? No, is no, like, this is are, actually wait, something. Two, so two guys faked a news conference, basically. Yeah, two guys faked working for a company, and then they went on the CBC, and that's this. They said, okay, by the way, we decided we're giving away sixteen billion dollars to the victims in India. And what ended up happening? And it basically it brought it back up no. to light. And uh, I don't know what happened, but I'm not sure. But basically, it brought it back up to light, and you know, because the company tried to like not talk about it because oh, it's so, so far they had away. To fucking finagle their yeah, way exactly. in. Exactly yeah. that fact. Oh, that's what you yeah. get for living in India. <laughs> wow. I mean, there's I'm all so, kinds yeah. of it. Like fuck, just move. See, it's, it's not funny. It's just anger, like useless anger. I feel like I'm uh, I'm 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 throwing uh, the statue of Christopher Columbus in the water right now. <laughs> He's been dead for 500 years. Yeah. I'm like, I guess. What I did feel he really I did do? So, I, no, no, no. Listen. You're going to get rid of Columbus, Ohio, too? The, the statue didn't do shit. That's, 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 I'm, I've been thinking about it. Because, dude, this thing got me so depressed. I don't know for you guys, but like this whole the guy getting choked on the floor. I actually once that woke was, up. You put a very, very leash. Like, <laughs> we know who you're talking guy, about. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Peter this knows him guy, well. This guy <laughs> choked on the floor. I yeah, once said know, his name, and I made a mistake in his name, and like, the thing is, oh my you're God, supposed to remember his name. Said, so I'm like, you're I'm just going to say that guy. You yeah, might as well was, have killed him yourself. It was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all agree that was a fucking horrible thing. So you were saying Anyways, about, about... And I, I'm seeing, I'm personally pro-protest. Let people protest. Even the riots. You have insurances. I mean, it's sad, but at least nobody's getting hurt. You know, nobody's attacking other that's people. That's the problem, though. That's the next step. But people right? are attacking other people. And, and but that's here's the next the thing. step is people are going to get hurt. You realize as a, that as they a are. guy who lived in a country with civil war, technically uh, speaking, that would be the next step. The next step would be, let's. <laughs> if the weather is nice, yeah. let's go hurt. We some have people. guns. Let's go hurt some people. But I think the fact, because I've been thinking about it, because my friend told me I'm very angry about it, so I'm like, I need to think about yeah, it. Yeah. I, I think the fact that we live in 2020. We're all somewhat lethargic. We're all fat. Nobody's really in shape. We have social media. We got all the porn we want. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the, some people, porn is not enough. They need more porn. <laughs> and I think th they, they skipped the part. Like, for example, if I look, for example, uh, in Iraq, right? In Iraq, they... Uh, You're saying we, got, we fast forwarded. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, in Iraq, yeah. they I, brought I down... I agree with that. They brought down the system, and then they brought down the statues. Yeah. The statues were like the dessert after the thousands of people died because they brought down the system. They're that, doing it in reverse it, here. So we just, I don't think there'll be the other part because when you bring down the statues, it's like you eat like uh, the, the dessert. It's symbolism, right? It's, 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 but, it's, yeah, it's like a victory. But, it's a victory lap. Right? It's a victory lap, but like I'm pretty sure, man, I'm pretty sure like actual racist people who control the world are so happy right now that they're going after inanimate racists. Right. Because they're like, you know what? They're just not yeah. going to pay attention to us. We're on the, they're going 100 years back they're and selling, we're right here? Exactly. They're selling the rope so that you can bring down the statues just to make money out of it. So, wow. yeah. That's, that's, that's a good point. Yeah. Who are the real racists? <laughs> Lizard people, man. Lizard people. That's two times in one day. We get to, <laughs> yeah. Um, like, uh, oh, we were warned. We were warned. Yeah. Um, you see, you give me beer, you see what happens? Yeah, there's there's <laughs> more where I came from. Uh, oh, you just got me all flustered. What the fuck were we saying? Conspiracy theories. Lizard people. The, Down uh, with no, Columbus. The, oh, the, the fact that you, it gets you mad, though. Yeah. Like, uh, well, he's a passionate guy. I, I get it. <laughs> I want to fit in. 
<laughs> you guys are very intense and passionate. So I'm like, but, you know what? Let's... But why though? Like, like what does you it change? Because why I they're getting mad. Because I have nothing to do. <laughs> no, but what what does it change in your life? Absolutely nothing. It's honestly, okay. as I said, it's <laughs> it's because I have nothing to do. If if comedy so was if you on, want to I would think about be on stage. Things to get mad about. Yeah. Yeah, you, you like, ah, about, you know I, I, I think there's a lot about there's a lot more injustice I think going on than that, bro. Mm -hmm. There's like if if you want to pick like to get first of all, this is just me being devil's advocate here. Like, uh, props to you for finding a cause. But there's, there's, by the way, I didn't find anything. It's just <laughs> blah 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 blah. <laughs> it's farts, it's aimless farts, anger. Farts, okay, blah just, blah blah, and then saying, I'll go buy something off Amazon. Yeah, That's, yeah, this yeah. Is, okay, okay, okay. Cheers, it's just cheers, like ah, just, just like ah. I get it. all right. So I should have. I'm like. I'm like. That's the basis of the show. I'm like a. I'm like a housewife who's bored. You know. I get. I get it. It's true. Yeah. I feel, and I honestly, I feel most people feel that way. So you think you think the fact that they they took down the statues now they're like they're gonna calm like people are gonna calm down or what? They got the likes, you know, on Instagram. They got the gratification because they did something nice. You know, they brought down an image that represents racism. I feel them. But you think it's gonna cool down? I think. I don't think it's gonna. They're not gonna go, a, 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 you know, a step further. I think because you understand, like they got. They're not gonna get militant with it. There's a reserve of calories of anger that we all have in each other. All right. <laughs> the calorie reserve of anger. The calorie reserve of How anger. Much can you Bringing down a statue up? and screaming that takes a lot. Like if you're not seriously oppressed, like let's say, in Iraq when the president was just shooting and killing people and pillaging and just no regards to human life. When you <laughs> don't live actually that. Actually oppressed. <laughs> When you're actually truly middle, like 1995, Kuwait, Saddam, Iraq, oppressed. You're living in fucking huts. Exactly. Yeah, you know? Exactly. You know when when you I see, assume <laughs> when you see your president having like 500 Ferraris and you can afford, and you barely afford a donkey or something. Right. Yeah. That's that's like the the it's reverse. So the, the the more oppressed you are, the more calories you have to you know for mayhem. And Which is chaos. weird because the less food you have, also. <laughs> I guess I guess calorie, calorie is just listen, a form of. Uh, I don't know about what about hormones food. cook in, but I guess you know you get the testosterone kick again, yeah. and yeah, then yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you get fed yeah. up, especially too like when Absolutely. you have a family, like yeah. you said, you see some guy driving around in a Ferrari, and you she's you, driving ten, yeah, yeah, and you have like their sons uh -huh. who are fucking. But that's it, the point, right? Like w people are getting pissed off. You made the point before. People are getting pissed off here without having to starve. Like people, we're getting two thousand uh, dollars a week. Uh, oh, whatever. I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I, I didn't say that. What. Uh, one thing I heard once that I found very inter interesting, I think it was LL Cool J. Yes, I'm going to quote LL Cool J. Ooh, ladies love Cool J. And he was talking with Jon Stewart. And uh, LL Cool J was, was saying that when he was growing up as a child, you know, the, the racism, the poverty, living in like a bad neighborhood, and the shame and the anxiety he felt as a child. And then Jon Stewart wanted to be funny. And he said, oh, I felt the same thing as like a middle class Jew in New York. And LL Cool J said, he said, as a child, you don't know. You yeah. just feel something. You know what I mean? You don't you don't compare. You just that anxiety you feel whether you're a middle class uh, Jew in New York or like a, a black guy living in the ghetto surrounded by crack and drugs. You you don't know that there are levels. What you feel is at the same level whether you're feeling in one way or another. So I'm not saying uh, like right now people they're probably actually like people who feel oppressed probably actually feel oppressed. They do. They do. Okay. Well I, yeah, that's without a doubt. But however, we're still eating. You know what I mean? Like the, the feeling. Yeah, 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 exactly. But it's a different. Yeah. So you're saying yeah. th they feel it and we feel it, but at a, a, the same level. At the same level internally, even it's the though, same level. Even though the environment exactly. is totally yeah, different. Yeah, exactly. Like, okay, I get that. Because it's self inflicted, right? I'm going to be a bit of. Uh, self inflicted? Like the anxiety and pain is something that you put on yourself. Like, I'm well, not. Yeah, if you choose yeah. not to. It's, it's not that you choose not to turn like, inwards. No, I'm right? saying if, yeah, you, exactly. if, if you choose not to feel these things, like you, that's a hard decision. It's to a be hard able decision. To make, exactly. To be capable I understand. Of making. I understand, but it's possible. It, it it could be done. Like if if your mind is stronger than if you're a Jainist or a Buddhist. I, I don't know. A lot of mushrooms. Yeah, that, a lot that, of mushrooms. That, that, that would help me. Whatever, whatever it may be. We have a reserve somewhere, actually. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Guys, beer, <laughs> smoke weed, and now you gonna give me mushrooms. We're gonna start talking about God, and we're all one man. Lack thereof. Are, are do you ever uh, were you willing to admit that you? Uh... Yeah, I take mushrooms. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I like mushrooms. I haven't taken them like maybe a year now, but okay, yeah, I yeah, love yeah. mushrooms. You have any yeah, particularly particularly cool <laughs> trips? Oh man, or bad trips? Or uh, bad trips? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You ever stab anyone? No, not, not yet. I think so. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm gonna say that on camera. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I uh, okay. So I used to take uh, boxing classes. And uh, in a famous MMA school here in Montreal, okay. like a very famous MMA school in Montreal. On and, the Ferry? Sorry, uh, Tristar. 
I'm not gonna say the name. Not TriStar. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, th th I just remembered the second detail of the story, and you're like, oh, yeah, I know. Where so, anyways, and I used to always we'll before class. <laughs> no, 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 sorry. <laughs> and before, I, you know what What I just said? Like, no, no, forget it. Let me, let me tell the story, and then we'll decide if we keep it or not. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. So, I always used to microdose a little bit before going to my boxing class. Okay. I used to take boxing classes, and really? I used to take like 0 0.2, 0 0.3 grams, because I heard on a podcast that you have better reflexes. And it's true. You have tremendous reflexes. But wow. everything is a bit more shiny. Like, <laughs> it's a fun... Yeah, because you're, you're defending six different opponents. <laughs> so but no wonder you're going... That Indian in. god with 20 yeah. hands just Vishnu. throwing punches at exactly. Vishnu. Vishnu. Yeah, Vishnu throwing punches at you. So it was great. I always took them like maybe 20 minutes before I arrived okay. in class. Just pop maybe 0 0.25 grams. Just wow. a small... Just a small thing. You walk in just class... Just enough poison. <laughs> and you're just getting class and you're awake like you're wow. fucking present it's like you're in the matrix you see the the, the punches That's slipping crazy. this it was a lot of fun that is cool so anyway so once i walk in and it's an mma school it's not just a boxing school and there's a cage and i look and i see this humongous beast of a human being like a humongous i'm talking like six five he looked like a superhero like what you see on tv just right. muscles and rah, like an intense <laughs> face <laughs> And he was with Alpha. The, he was with the head coach, and he was throwing punches, and I was like, they kicked in. So I just stood, maybe what, ten centimeters from the the, the cage, and I was like, just just in awe, in awe. I'm like, what is this? Like, I wanted to touch it to see. It was just crazy. It Turns out it was like a Greek yeah. god. <laughs> Dude, it looked that it landed on Earth just to train some Muay Thai that day. <laughs> it was, and I, and it turns out. And I don't know who it is because I don't follow MMA. It turns out it was Vitor Belfort. Belfort? Belfort, yeah. Yeah, Vitor Belfort. And he just, he was training that day and I was like. And he's a savage. Now, we don't know if that really happened. <laughs> <laughs> or it was just that. I, or uh, I just got into a car accident. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that or the, the fucking, the guy was mopping for the night. <laughs> yeah. You know, he was not sure. Whoa, how he's choking that <laughs> yeah. little. Oh, man. So, yeah, Vitor that was. Belfort. Like seeing Vitor Belford, 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 but Belford, under but under uh, I'm not sure. under under magic mushrooms was. <laughs> I can imagine. And and it, what's weird is that I'm the only one who was standing like this close from the from the cage. Everybody well, you, was you, sitting you, like you, four you, meters you're away. The only one that was on hallucinogenic drugs. <laughs> yes, that's true. So uh, yeah, <laughs> your spatial awareness goes out the window <laughs> yeah. as soon as you uh, <laughs> pop a couple. Of, <laughs> So I'm that, the only one that was. You're probably the only one that they were a lot, doing a lot of things at that time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I've I've watched movies on shrooms, and the the fucking light switch was dancing you, on my leg. You, you know, watched a picture on shrooms. I remember <laughs> I, I, I left you one time. Oh no, I was acid. The lights were I off. Left one time I came back. I came home and you were staring at a picture that you apparently had been staring at a picture for. Yeah, that was acid hours. though. Yeah. Woo. And then I threw up on Mix Xbox. <laughs> and then we were running down the street like we thought uh, vampires were chasing us, or maybe it was just me. I don't know. It was like 30 days later. Remember 30 days later? Yeah. Movie? Yeah, yeah. The zombies kind of, yeah. vampires. I, I hate to do this, but I, I got to piss. Yeah, go for I'm it. sorry. I know you just... Yeah, I felt like those guys were yeah. chasing me. I don't know why. I think it's because we had watched it, but uh, that's a good one. That's a, that's a fun one. Do you feel, I, I realized, because right now it's like I'm resetting my brain because I have nothing to do all day. I'm not doing comedy. Okay. My brain doesn't recognize what's real and what's fake. So. Ooh. I want when I was watching The Sopranos, I was watching like six hours a day. Yeah, right. Just six hours, just and I was dreaming the fucking Sopranos. It happens all the time. Like I was in this. I had a wet dream in Bada Bing. You understand? <laughs> I was like '90s fake titties stripper. I was like, you know how many times I fucked Adriana <laughs> in that back room? <laughs> Great body didn't didn't do it to me. No, 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 no. no. Oh, really? Eh? However, uh, the Russian uh, girlfriend of Tony. Irina? Oh, yeah. Tony. Tony. Oh, my God. Tony. That's yeah, my she type. Was fucking good. That is like the black hair, white skin. No offense, Peter. <laughs> like, just, just <laughs> banging. Oh, my God. And she was tiny, too. Oh, man. She was. What about the one leg, Brad? No, she, she, I, I like her attitude. She was fierce. Yeah, I you like know? her she attitude. Had, she had flavor. Those Russians, man. That's. Oh, that's, big time. Um, big time. She, she made up for that leg with attitude. <laughs> you know? It's like I was saying, I went to Israel two, two years ago for a wedding and. Uh, all the people are there, the guys included, are all 12s. They're all Damn. 12s. Yeah. It's yeah. insane. I, I see the only nine that I saw was this beautiful girl on the beach. The only reason she's a nine is she had one arm. <laughs> and that's the only reason that she was a nine. It's because she was missing a whole arm. For, Otherwise, yeah. she was a 12. My, my ex, my, serious, my last serious ex-girlfriend was Jewish, and I've always had a thing. I have a, it's not I have a thing for Jewish girls. I have a thing for big noses. And they just... <laughs> 
they just you know what I mean the Lebanese girls they take care of it when they're like nine okay oh yeah so if you want to like a well, company their father fucking <laughs> <laughs> all the slapping oh my god nice so yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, yeah. So I, 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 I like Lebanese girls are sexy though. They're sexy, but I feel maybe, that maybe it's because it's it's your own. I don't like my people. You understand? No I grew up with Jews, by the way. I grew I was up with say, Jews no one all likes my your life. People. <laughs> <laughs> no, no one likes their own. If people, you keep man. throwing no. fastballs down the middle, like, I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> swing. Of course, of course. You know? Like, not a fan of like. I mean, Italian girls are hot, but I, you yeah. know, I, I tend to go outside yeah. of the. I don't think Italian girls are hot. Well, I mean. The, it's the hot bloodedness that uh, that in, it's, that intensity is sexy. I like intensity. Yeah. yeah. See, uh, the grass is always. You should like green. black, fat black women. Then, if you like intensity, <laughs> if you like intensity, I didn't say I didn't, bro. <laughs> yeah. Me either. Yeah, that's true. Me either. But uh, true, yeah. Okay, sec. Ah, yeah. So have yeah, you, I, have I, you hit every continent? Uh, first of all, can I ask question. you your number? Yeah. So it's, uh, your body count. My yeah, body count. Yeah. You, know, you know what's crazy? That's another thing about the quarantine. You start like counting, uh -huh. and I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> that many? No, no, no. I wish it was. I wish it was. But that's like, you. I always like. Oh yeah, I forgot that. One. Yeah, on it maybe. No, like, I forgot that one. Oh yeah, I'm not asking you to give me. Uh, uh, okay, uh, less than twenty. Yeah, less than twenty. Yeah. I don't believe it. Yeah, I don't yeah. believe it either. Less than twenty. Did you have like I'm a, a romantic bro. You have a long term no? relationship? No, no. I'm a romantic. I like uh, I like ah. feelings. I, like I never. There's maybe one or two one night stands that I truly like. Ah, everything was on oh, yeah. point. I didn't drink enough. The captain was saluting. I don't think I've had any of those. Like, yeah. All my one-night stands when are. I, how many times you performed well, <laughs> bro? Because my numbers <laughs> are in the single digits. Then it's in the negatives. It's in the negatives. It's yeah. In the negatives. I'm asking, come on! Even yeah. like I'm in, I'm in the 30s, and look at me, bro. Like, without whores, <laughs> yeah, without whores. I horse. never fucked a whore, but, but a post quarantine, I'm like, you know what? Might as well. My, I need to. It's been like well, three, you definitely four fucked whores. Now. You just never paid. <laughs> you. <laughs> Touche. Touche. Tracks coming in with the semantics. Romantic. I like that. Romantic, Romantic semantics. semantics. Oh. Hey well, the, they're Cheers, all. Uh, can, can I have a beer too, or were you guys dissing yeah, me? Uh, you ready? Was <laughs> yeah, we got it. We got it. But what's the polite way? Is the polite way to give you a cracked open beer or to give you one of the new crack? As what's long as the... you give me the beer, I can okay. give a fuck. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. As long as you don't take it and throw it at me. Not even at that. Even as, that. as long as you get it. Thank you for coming. My uh, pleasure, guys. Thank you so much you for, for having sure. me. The first of um, first of many. Yeah, actually, we actually we asked you to come on, and I and I appreciate the the, uh, the honesty and the response. We asked him to come on and do the um, the live. The uh, not in person thing. Oh yeah, and he's like, no, no, no. Ask me when you when you want to. When you yeah, want to I wanted to feel like you know get the cool, actual like, chilling with you guys. That. You I, get more of an. At effect first, I thought personal. you were just kind of blowing us off. I'm like, no, I'm, I, <laughs> no, you know. So. No, no, you guys are friends of Claudio. You're friends of Kyle. I took, I took the the Amor the Amor uh, hate, hate shrine down. <laughs> yeah, the voodoo doll I made <laughs> the of you doll. that I collected. You ever get sharp I, pains? I spoke with my mom. Is that it? She got you the. <laughs> oh, your mom selling them? Yeah, she gave me a <laughs> lock of your hair from when you were young. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I need pubes. them though. <laughs> you need pubes to make a real one. Uh, what a world! Oh man, what a world we live. Yeah, in. No, it's, it's it's better that we got in studio, you know. Yeah, oh no, I feel like agreed. This is more fun. I don't think yeah. we would have hit uh, you calling me a terrorist <laughs> ten Not minutes a... in. I didn't if call we were, you. If, did I call you a terrorist? No, no, but like that connection, that closeness that we have now. I think it stems from me being here. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. The the proximity. You know. Yeah. Cheers. I, did I call you a terrorist? I'm pretty sure I'm not. Those are not the words I said. I may have. By the way, that. when you said, I'm like, oh no, he makes sense. I see how. It could, like, thank God I'm not in Lebanon. Maybe they would have changed my. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah. So you grew up in Lebanon? I grew up till the age of eleven. Yeah. Was, was there like fucked up shit going yeah, on? Yeah, 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 yeah. There always is there though. Like, yeah. Oh, like uh, with yeah, the, that whole with region, the, I guess. Yeah, but I'm saying, yeah. yeah. Till, till, but especially like, yeah. there. It's like, no, like, <laughs> not uh, especially. No, I mean, well, when, I when guess ISIS the whole when ISIS came, they were they 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 were more in in. You know, Iraq yeah. and okay, uh, I don't Syria. Know. I don't know. Syria yeah. caught it back. Yeah, yeah, Syria. Syria fucked away. Yeah, with the, even with uh, Russia, right? Was it with Russia? They, they were, were there. They, they were there. Like, they even Af like, Afghanistan, in, 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 like, in 2000, 2005, that, that, 2007. That's a like, fact. I don't know how exactly what it is. I know they're Russia. I remember Russia and Al-Qaeda. They used to do, be... There was uh, something, uh, something, the something in 2000 seconds... 2007 or something. I remember there was fucking. Yes, it's been a while. See, I, I have there's a theory. All, the point is, is that there's always kinds of there's always shit going on. There. Unrest. If the, if the weather is nice in the Middle Eastern country and the women are beautiful, you will have war. But it's not like like if I was ISIS, you can't go to Lebanon and like, hey guys, we need you can't fuck anymore. Like it won't work. Not in Lebanon. Women are too beautiful. You have the sea. You have <laughs> that's booze, why. Yeah, but even you have hashish. But you can Beirut yeah. is like the fucking jewel of the Orient, yeah. right? 
Yeah. I think they call it. Yeah, but bro, even those broads that wear the fucking. Filled with cunts, though. I just want to say. There's a lot of cunts in my country. There's a lot of cunts everywhere, bro. There's a lot of cunts everywhere, bro. Uh, There's no cuntless countries. No. That's true. Maybe Liechtenstein. Only liars that, but they're, only, you know? Yeah. But maybe, yeah. maybe, yeah. Uh, Arabs, you know the bras that wear like the fucking those <laughs> fam, fam voiles? What, what are they called here? Maybe like, the Vatican. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the Vatican is yeah, cutless. Yeah. I don't, can you be a pedophile? Like, if you're a pedophile <laughs> and a The answer cunt, is in the Vatican, which, yes. Like, like you're a cunt. Like, uh, excuse me, pedophile. Like, which do you, like, which takes precedence? Well, over yeah, the well, other? What, what word hurts you more? But they call the cunt the C word. <laughs> yeah, well, but I think pedophile is a lot worse. Yeah. Cunt is like you're unpleasant. Well, pedophile is, is you fuck is, kids. Cunt is subjective, right? Cuck? Cunt. Oh, cunt. Cunt is subjective. Right? Cunt is just like you're yeah. an unpleasant person. Yeah, plus yeah, in Australia, it's like a compliment. Yeah. I don't, I don't think. Are you fucking cunt? I, there's, there's, there's no like, ah, he's my pedo. He's like, he's <laughs> yeah. my. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's never used in a, you yeah, know. Sure. Yeah, he's my pedo. Here's my he's molester. My <laughs> Yo, what's what up, molester? What's up, molester? What's up, molester? <laughs> You know, like you yeah, a, there's yeah. nowhere that molester is a term of endearment. Yeah, exactly. The way cunt is. Yeah, yeah. maybe in prison. Maybe, maybe on know. Epstein's Island. <laughs> maybe. You know? Maybe. Not, probably, mm. not, probably not those. So, so yeah, so in yeah. in in, uh, in Lebanon. Yeah. Uh, you were, was there a civil war going yeah, on? Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. like, it's this is just like you wake up and you're like, oh, they're fucking warring in the streets again. There, there's a you warring. hear the bombs, <laughs> warring. <laughs> So, yeah, it's there's a, a lot of war. They, they, they war it's all night long. Word. I'm pretty sure it's a word, They're man. They're warring in the streets. Warring in the street. Fuck me if war is a word. Jamie? Agree to disagree. <laughs> Bro, is warring a Fighting, word? Fighting, battling. I call him Jamie, by the way, because the <laughs> yeah, Everybody does. Know. Oh, okay. I, I thought it was being original. Like, fuck. I thought about it before coming. I'll, I'll call him. I'll you call him. You got one that I call the microphone. You got one that I call the microphone. All right. <laughs> <laughs> call him, like, Pedro next time. Something condescending. I don't know why that would be condescending, but. <laughs> yeah, this says a lot about you. <laughs> Just jokes. Uh, warring so, is a word. How do you spell warring? D- W-A-R-R-I-N-G. Double R, eh? That's why it's yeah. going to be wearing. <laughs> <laughs> so, Amber, when you were young, there was a lot of wearing? Yeah, were you wearing? People were wearing <laughs> amongst each other? No? It's it, no. it's an adjective. But it's, I, it's, I, I it's got not, the point. It's not a verb. It's, it's not like the word. It's not a verb. <laughs> like you used it, so you're wrong. In conflict with each other. Maybe in Hebrew, it's an... They were, <laughs> yeah, they were warring in the street. Yeah. Yes, to the war? factions are warring. Yeah, but that's you said. Okay, no, listen. that's a verb. It should be a word. <laughs> there, there, there was it's also word, that back win, in the Middle East. There was a lot of booty shaking and the uh, yeah, right. they're murking each other out. But what is like? So it's it's what it's the rebels against the government. Uh, that's Star Wars. Uh, in Lebanon, it was different. In Lebanon, so basically, what happened is that maybe in the seventies, uh, it, it became like a religious thing. Oh, warring? We're gonna okay, yeah. So to make or carry on war. Holy shit. Verb? Seriously? Wow. But I said I said a racist joke. Merriam Webster right here. I I said a racist joke, like maybe in Hebrew it's a word. (laughs) Maybe. Warring. See that's that's racist. Yeah, because because you're Muslim. (laughs) Yeah, that's (laughs) because uh, you know. It's not. I know it's not, bro. Come on. I know it's not too. You fucking shut up, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Fucking Jew. Communicate. (laughs) Communicate. And all right, okay, you win, you win. You warring. Let's not. All right, so yeah, let's, there not, was, let's not start warring about this. I'm not the one who fucking made a big thing out of it. <laughs> there, yeah, there was a lot of warring in Lebanon, but, but it was it was like a religious based. So wow. basically, wow. on the surface, it was religious based. You had like the Christians amongst each other. You had the Muslims amongst each yeah. other. And then, then you the, had the Muslim versus the Christians, and then you had like the communists that jumped in and the Druze, Jesus and they're like, hey, Christ, what about us? Fucking. That's but a, in reality, it was we just, want a war too. <laughs> yeah, they want to be in. But in reality, it's in about re- land, no. Based on what I saw on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> According to uh, according to yeah. the Middle East facts nine 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 seven four, it was a, it was like a social thing. So the rich were going against the poor, and that was basically it. They put it into religion because it's easier to manipulate to manipulate. Yeah. Like hey, you know, you're Shia, I'm Shia. Let's go fucking kill. Yeah. yeah. But what were were the actual rich ones going out and fighting, or were they just paying other poor people to do their fighting? Uh, I think no, no. There was everybody. When we say rich, you mean richer than the poor, but it's still yeah. Lebanon. You know, there's oh, not okay, a yeah. Okay. So yeah, there was some of that. Uh, when you're young, you block things very well, which explains, you know. Yeah, you're trying to play yeah. in the streets. Yeah, no, pff, you don't, you don't, dude, I know. never played in no, the street I, ever. I no, so no. You play under the house. <laughs> in, yeah. the, in the fucking, I, I rem- 
It's cr- I remember playing in like in the bomb shelter. This is I remember. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Really? We have canteens. You guys have bomb <laughs> yeah, shelters. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember playing in a bomb shelter. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, Fuck. but that's that's nothing to joke about though. But we will. But we will. <laughs> and, uh, it's good. That, it's good that you got out. It's good that you're here. Fuck. It's good that you got out. It's good that you're here. <laughs> Your parents did the right thing and get out of that fucking mess of a Fuck country. Fuck yeah, man. Yeah. Fuck so yeah. was there like a defining moment that they were like, they were like, okay, this is too fucked up now. We got to get out of here. But when their neighbors got shot up and killed. Well, the- uh, yeah, okay. How, how can I say this and still not sound safe? A bomb fell on like the building I lived in. And your, we, yeah. your building got bombed. But the, yeah. But the thing is, it's uh, it's like a three stories building, right? And the, the first one was the one that we stayed in because it was like barbed wire in the cement or whatever. So it was supposed to take bombs better. Oh, nice. But I think you the paid roof. a premium for sure. It's a big. Uh, it's, it's the big first se- floor, I guess. Selling point in, uh, <laughs> in, in, our, Lebanon. In, in, in Lebanon. In Lebanon. <laughs> like, guys, we have. Is this bomb, uh, is this bomb that, but what, what do you call good. those? Like steel beams in the cement to make Re- it. Uh, rebar. Rebar. Re- re- okay, so there was that. Yeah. So, but I think that like the ceiling had like tin or something. It wasn't great. It was like separate to the building. Okay. And a bomb. And we were all staying there because it was like technically the safest building in the. Okay, so they, <laughs> you purchased the, the top one, people purchased the middle and the other top we one. We were in the middle. Uh, family friends or family was in the first floor then you had somebody on the third floor but when the bomb started you don't want to say this you all went to the bottom smart that was like step one before going into the bomb shelter so we were all staying there imagine 60, 70 people chain smoking because it was the fucking 80s or 90s I don't remember plus it's Lebanon plus it's Lebanon and and I just remember I remember going to sleep in like in a bed and waking up, I'm like, hey, how come I can see stars? Like that was my original thought. And I still this day, I don't know if I invented that when I was like nine or something, but wow. I remember having that thought, like, hey, how come I can see stars? That's and that's and how, that's like, why his exactly podcast exactly is called like, Starry, Starry Night. Night. <laughs> <laughs> PTSD, guys. Uh, that is that's a beautiful fucking I can't even speak. I'll cheers to that, man. That is that saves me years of uh, therapy, I think. Right here. <laughs> there you go. That's there beautiful. you go, bro. We're changing lives here at Joeful Podcast, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. You just, you, <laughs> you, that, you, hit, you did a good one there. Thank that you. Was, you did a good one there. Thank you. Nice. I'm, I'm tearing up. That's. It was too beautiful. So, so was the rest of, so were a lot of people <laughs> in, in this building that night, bro. Yeah, it was sad. It, it was sad. like the only person, it's crazy to say, the only person who got, uh, who, who really caught the bomb was my grandma. And she had to be evacuated to France with the French government to be, because like in, in, Montre- in Montreal, in Lebanon, they said, no, we can't take care of her. The hospitals are full. So like a French delegation took her, took her to France. Wow. Fixed up as much as It was as nowhere closer? No, nah, man, it was Lebanon, dude. Honestly, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming the hospitals were full or they gave up so on that means, her. That means France was on, the yeah. UN was on your side. As right? much as I fucking shit on the French, they, yeah. have, a, they have a place in my heart. Yeah. No I love kidding, them. Right? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, so yeah. That, was, that was kind of the... The, the bomb that broke the camel's back. Uh, I'm ass- oh <laughs> nice. The, I'm assuming that was it because like I don't know how many years after. Yeah, yeah. We, wow. If for that you, for if, you, it was. if that doesn't do it, I mean, what? You know, but it's crazy to take? say. Like when you're young, you just go in your mind. You're like, okay, well, I can't go outside. Yeah. I can't. We don't. You know, toys. All right. But at a certain point, you just you know create a, a fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Eternal yeah. Like, universe. Yeah, well, Have life, this wood. Life is beautiful, <laughs> right? But in my mind, it's a fucking. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Life is beautiful. La Vita Bella. Yeah, the movie. It's a great movie. You remember that movie? Yeah. Yeah, with the with Roberto Benigni. Yeah. yeah, with the kid where he's basically it's, he's telling this. He's, oh yeah. No, no, but then, all uh, these movies, I cry like a fucking bitch because like, like a I, fucking little girl. Because I, I think of like my mom with her yeah. three kids. Yeah. Because you know, my dad came to Canada because like well I'm fucking there's no work done so he came here so we we're there with my grandma in Lebanon and it's just imagine man single mom. Yeah. Her older mom taking care of three kids. That should, must have been a trip. I should call Bombs her back. Bombs in the f- ceiling. I should call her back. <laughs> <laughs> she called me this morning. Jesus Christ, guys, we're going we're going deep today. Yeah, yeah, we're hitting all angles. But the other day, actually, God my damn. mom she was she, she messaged me, and if I don't call her, t- t- if I don't mess answer her message yeah. twice, it goes direct to guilt. <laughs> it was hello, hi, and then, you know you have a family, eh? Oh, you see that? At least she's I'm she's like, direct about f- it. At least she's direct about it. <laughs> You don't get that. Okay, well, just so you know, I love you and I wish you the best. You understand? Like, at least she's being like, hey, what will fucking... I think she's yeah, going to ask that. that. Uh, Amanda, it's been three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> just let me know you're alive. <laughs> just give me a sign of life right now. You just stay back, yes, or okay. <laughs> said $50,000. Just a uh, uppercase K. Cut off, my, cut off my whole finger, said 50 grand. <laughs> 
Fun Amazing. times. Good times. Good times. So Why did I think of? Uh, I was thinking of something. You were gonna say that your your mom called you. No, not that. Anyways, continue. You were gonna say something. How's your relationship about, with your mom? <laughs> about, uh, I have a, a great yeah, we did a, we did a good session with Amber. Yeah, yeah let's, exactly. Let's, let's get to the root of your problems here, uh, Trax. Well, who says I have problems, number one? Ooh. You say it. You say it all the time. Hostility. Yeah, what I say is one thing. What Hostility. I say is one thing. Am I the one problem? I'll kill you all, fuck. <laughs> Yo, Armando, you know what the problem is? You need you need a, a bong. No. <laughs> Are you mad because your bong broke? Yeah, bro. Yeah, I am mad. You know where to get a new one. Luckily, I have a discount code for you. What's the discount code? What's the discount code? Is it Jofo 10? Jofo Podcast. Mofo Mofo 10. 10. 10. Get bongia.com. Hit in the promo code Jofo Mofo 10. What's the website again? (laughs) Get bongia. Get bongia.com. Can you spell that? G E T B O N G I A dot C O M. Promo code J O F O M O F O one zero for ten percent off everything in store. Is it everything? I don't know. I don't know. Yes, it is. It is. Let us know, guys. Send Let us emails know. after you order. I, I hereby decree ten percent off everything. How cool is it that we got sponsored, bro? That's amazing. Congratulations. Honestly. Very dope. Very dope. Yeah, it's pretty wicked. Yeah. Perfect. Does he listen to the podcast? Yeah, they love <laughs> okay, it. Okay, perfect. Yeah, they love it. Yes. <laughs> Does he know what the fuck what goes you? on here that he's associating himself? That's what I asked him right away. I'm like, but you've yeah. seen the show, right? <laughs> that's usually what we ask when people ask to be on. We're like, have you seen the show? Yeah, you know? that's that's, that's the thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, the like, first couple of guests. I hope that you don't have a career <laughs> to ruin. Yeah, well, that's the reason why we did. Why I started the show. We don't have a career to ruin, right? Right. Other we're, people. We're, we're perfect. Yeah, you know you can't do a few shows now because you did ours, right? <laughs> nah, I, 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 I don't get into those politics. I think they're uh, they're not. Uh, I say they're not productive. No, I fully agree. No, I don't. I fully agree. Well, what's your whole idea? Comical. With, um, let's get deep. Censoring. Ooh. Yeah. With Censoring cen- comedy. Censorship. How do you, how do you, f- what do, you, do you think anything is off limits when it comes to comedy? No. However, I think. Timing. It's not just timing. Yeah. And B, sometimes you need talent. But at the same time, the way yes. I see it, at an open mic, fuck it. Just, you know. Yeah. If it's not hitting and it comes off as offensive, ah, sorry. But the thing is, I, I don't know if you guys been to open mics, but there's a lot, like, there's a lot of shit. There's a lot of people trying to be edgy. I was one of them, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, which is cool. But, but I, I think I think censorship in all the arts should be like, no, let let nah. them let them do what he wants for sure. Exactly. But you know, I still believe that if people want to be offended, then be offended. But right. talk to the guy. It's you know, right talk to, to the funny. guy. Don't make it a whole. But th- that's trigger a- warning here is my post about the situation that happened space. earlier. Just you know, go talk to guy. I think a lot of problems, a lot of conversation can end if you just speak with a guy and tell him, Hey, what were you trying to say? You know yeah. what I mean? I was trying to say this, yeah, it didn't come off correct. But why even that? Who the fuck are you to give me your opinion on what, what it is? Because you're well, offended. You say the exact same a, thing to us. A person is allowed no, but to. I'm not asking somebody, yes, yes, they're allowed to feel yeah, whatever way yeah. to work, yeah. which is the whole point of the whole situation. But to get, like that's why stand up comedy is one thing. You're going into somebody's room, yeah, most of the time, unless you run it, and you're telling jokes to people that you're walking into. So you're you're obviously on the other hand, people on our show they're coming here to watch us look like fucking idiots, you know. But but even at that, join you looking for it. That's my goal. Right? Yeah, but but the, the point is too is that in either of the yeah. things, either of the ways, the person that's telling that joke that may be off off color or. Uh, Bad time, yeah. they're not funny or whatever it is. The point is, he's he's trying to tell a joke, right? And if you're gonna prosecute him for trying to make somebody laugh, whether it was funny or not, or well timed, exactly or whatever yeah. it is, or if the guy sucks, or yeah. you know, even if he is a fuck, if he's a racist, first of all, <laughs> even if he's a racist, no, you're here to hear first, guys. Yeah, you hear him out. Yeah, first of all, all right, you hear him out. Racists don't make jokes. Exactly about. I don't think Hitler. <laughs> Here we go. Ever made a joke about how many Jews you can fit in, in a, a Volkswagen? In a Volkswagen. He wanted the numbers. Yeah. The, the answer, by the way, is <laughs> he was a The answer, by the way, is two in the front, two in the uh, back, yeah, yeah. and a thousand many, in the ashtray. I don't know how many million. I heard that in Lebanon. Yeah, That's how old exactly. that joke is. But, but, Just so yeah, you know. But that's like, not the yeah, point. The we're point is, in the Lycee. You know? I heard <laughs> that during Civil War. Yeah. The point is, Hitler wants fucking numbers. He's like, no, 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 no jokes. I need to know how many I can fit in the oven. He wouldn't go out and tell yeah, you a joke. You about think real racist? He wanted joke. to know that before he designed the beetle. One hundred percent. Like, all right, guys. Oh, the we need to design the beetle. Hitler, how many the, Jews can I fit in Jews the beetle? Be- Somebody tells him the joke, he kills him. No, not funny. <laughs> this is not joke. Yeah. Yeah. You think I'm joking? Uh, yeah. 
It's I true. Do, yeah. Real racists don't make yeah. jokes pa- about things. I just want to point out because Hitler has an Arabic accent. I just want to point it out. Maybe it's my sensitive ear. It's Hitler. Yeah, Hitler. I don't know what Hitler sounds like. That's maybe why. He sounds like nine, it's, nine, yeah. nine, nine. Yeah. Schnell. What's my point going on there? Something about loving about Hitler. Something that <laughs> Hail Hitler. I know something it ended in Hail de- Hitler. Defending racism and Hitler. Yeah, I think. It was basically defending is, racism. Yeah, it was racism. That's what, that's what, and then you got into a Hitler. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's, I'll, I'll give you an example. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. So, like, if you make a pedophile joke, it doesn't mean you're a pedophile. No, no. Bro. But listen, I'll, I'll give you an example. By the way, I fully that agree that you shouldn't censor. I believe that stand up comedy is like the last bastion or whatever, and people yes. should say whatever they want. But I'll give you an example where I'm like, he's right. In, in my case, I never believed that I was. Okay. <laughs> Peter, this is where you might need to join in just in case. <laughs> Get ready for the end okay. bomb. <laughs> so, I. Uh, I, I used to do a joke, and I still do it, but fucking every six months, I'm like, maybe I should bring it, but then something happens, and I can't bring it back. So really? I, uh, See, I, I used to say a joke about, I, I love rap. I love listening to rap. I grew up listening to rap. And like I remember when I was young, and I discovered NWA, and I listened to NWA. I'm like, what, what is that sound for again? Uh, <laughs> it's right up there, in case you forget. <laughs> I, I need your help with the first word. It's mostly <laughs> just the end we want to know. What is that? Yeah. Well, I know the WA, but... The end is really with, with, with attitude. <laughs> listen, I'm not listen. I'm not gonna. <laughs> Who said Nikum poops? <laughs> Nikum poops with Nick attitude. Said that. <laughs> I think we said it one one, one time. So, Nikum poops with attitude. <laughs> and listen, That's growing up more derogatory. Uh, growing no, up in Lebanon, silly. coming to Canada, I never really experienced racism because I look white, and back then white people weren't hated, so I wasn't. I, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't experience it's the same over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, okay. I didn't experience any racism. So, and I, you know, you hear like, oh, racism. Like, oh, okay. You know, you're young. You're, you're, yeah. you don't believe it. And then you hear NWA, and you're like, holy fuck, this is. Like, guy is angry. He's passionate, and he create like this is okay. They're actually living this. This is real. And then you see like, it it got me to like discover about oh shit, racism is real. When you when I was young, I didn't really believe. You know what's crazy that I think that's exactly why they started the fucking bands, uh, the, the group. If 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 they heard you say that, yeah. he'd probably he'd probably it was be to really describe happy. their yeah. surroundings yeah. to let people that's know exactly why what they, they were going that. through. Yeah. Yeah. And they did it tremendously well. Absolutely, of course. I was did. saying like holy uprise. They had fucking. They were on the FBI's yeah. fucking. Uh, list you know and you hear about like cops cops are doing this to you and you, you can't believe it it's like holy shit it's shocking you know yeah, I not come even from the a- rebels do this to <laughs> me <laughs> cops are, your police are doing this your to poli- me <laughs> we can't Franco- get away from this <laughs> jean francois in his little blue shirt is it what <laughs> come on <laughs> so you really resonated with the so uh, anyway so you you end up and then you, you discover rap and you start enjoying rap but then i grew older and i'm like you know what i you know you, know, you stop listening to rap because at a certain point you know bitches and hoes you're like oh, it would be nice out. but i need to pay my rent it's not you you stop living that fantasy but then i started listening to rap again my friend uh, recommended i listen to rap and i was like a fucking mumble rap and like this yeah. is bad eh what it's is really this bad. It's bad. i'm like i'm like and then you have like fights between one another and i'm like i don't have time to follow in my head they were all drake every single one was drake <laughs> that works for it me. was a, and it was and it was like this is like haha one of the punchlines i used to say and then i say like it's uh it's weird how like uh, that's an actual thing i listened to i was listening to a song and the guy was bragging about his dick and it's like a new song and the guy was like yeah what is this again <laughs> you peter just in case all right i need you to thumbs up okay the guy was like yeah you're going to be scared of my 30 centimeter dick. And I was like, oh shit, he knows the metric system? <laughs> like, what an advancement in the educational system. This is, this is amazing. <laughs> like, that is, like, and it's not drugs or like keys. I got a few, key- like, it was like centimeters. <laughs> And I was it's like, this is, kilos. yeah, like I was, I was impressed that fucking SI, Your bar is low, is basically is what SI you're saying, units that, uh, made it to the fucking ghetto. That's all I'm saying. Like, I was like, I was really impressed. And then I was like saying like, but it's it's still like I didn't connect with. There was not enough anger and like <laughs> not I, enough anger. No, now now it's not enough. I, I don't know. But no. well, that's the, uh, so I'll, this is I'll, part of his. So job. anyway, so I'll, and then I say uh, I, I go back to NWA like how they fucking they took anger and they took uh, pain and the, 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 the depression and they they took being shit on and they created like something that is that transcends time like yeah. that's something that timeless fucking kids my kids will be listening to and they'll be like holy shit this is this is like fucking Mozart this is Wrong. Beethoven and the punchline is man rap was so much better when black lives didn't matter <laughs> that was that was the punchline Peter did it work uh, and well it depends if if. <laughs> 
if they were honestly, if there were black people in the audience, they, they laughed because yeah. they got it. It's a joke. But the white people didn't like it. But the white people. No, Karen and Susan were pissed yeah. off. Oh, dude, not every single white. And I get it. I get it. That no, they I don't. Be. I don't, man. I, I can't stand white people. I never got backlash from the audience. Like I just got like, oh, I got groans, which is okay. However, so I was trying to work that joke. I was trying to find the rhythm. You didn't of give the up on it. Is what you're saying? No, <laughs> but I was doing it on it because I think it's a good joke. It's a like, great it's, joke. Yeah. And so I was doing it at, at an open mic over and over and over and over again. Just in a row in the same set? No, but like every <laughs> week I would come back and it'd be like, huh? <laughs> what about huh? now? What about now? Too soon? How about, How about now? now? What about? And then the bartender is like, come here. <laughs> like, like, dude, you can't. like the first time it got a Were laugh like, and then it was just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were going to say that too. <laughs> the bartender. And I'm like, you know what? He's right. He's no, he's not right. It's his if place you, of business. It's his place of business. Like this is he. He's like the manager at this place. And if that joke keeps bombing, and by the way, dude, when I say that joke didn't work, it ruined like the next four comics after that. <laughs> You're at Grumpy's, bro. They, like I mean, they were yeah, but exactly. You see, Grumpy's was not the room because it's, it's a very that joke? it's a very white it's a very white. You know, it's a, it's a, there's, I there's never... a bunch of faggots there, bro. Can we be honest with you? <laughs> Dude, I, I go there. And I, I, I don't agree with you on that one. No, I, I, of course not. I don't agree with myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about. <clears throat> it's funny how this guy keeps if... on coming into the conversation. This bartender guy, how? Why does he have to keep on? Making an appearance in in, in people's conversation, yeah, but that, yeah, it was no. That guy had no right. No, he had absolutely. It's his place of business. Is it his place of? Uh, is he the owner? No, but he's the manager. He if he has clients that are on. No, no. Listen, I agree with free speech. By the way, free speech is when you like the definition of free speech. Like you can go on the street and say whatever the fuck you want. It's not but when you're in some whatever. But if you're in somebody's place of business, mm -hmm. he's allowed to say like, listen, man, listen. Clearly, that joke is not working. Really? He's allowed to say that? No, no. By the way, he was very polite. He just said, listen, man, can you the just... The crowd's probably all comics. Most of the crowd's probably comics. And they're the ones going up after you. They yeah. More. No, but I I've agree been, with... I've been to Grumpy's many yeah. times. I, like, I'm, I'm like, just, just to me to say, your story yeah. holds warm. All I'm saying is that that bartender yeah. would have said that to me. I would have told him to suck my dick. <laughs> like for you, no, I, 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 no, really, just, he's a tough guy. He would have told you to try. Like he would be like, bring it. I'm not saying I want to. Why, why does it come out the fighting? I'll fight the guy with my brain before By I fight way, him with my arms. There was no Lyrical fighting. Knockout. There was no fighting because I'm no, not. I'm not I a know, kid. I know. I'm just saying. It no, was no, a. No, no he just took me. He's like, hey man, can you just? And I was like, yeah, you're right. You're like, you're right. Fucking, it bombed like five weeks in a row. It set a weird tone in the room. I guess at that point, yeah. And I've said horrible things in that bar and never really like yeah. it's just so like that, that joke was Oh that was That's the one. why though. That's why like, does that joke the, exactly. tip the scales? See, this is why Because I agree so with you. This is like it's somebody's paint this is why yeah. some, somebody's paint an artist is painting there or something. Yeah. And uh, you know Subjective. People are, people are look walking by and they're like uh, no man, I don't know, you know, I kinda like it. And a guy comes up to you, the the, the the manager of the gallery goes, Oh bro, can you change can you change what you're painting? Yeah, that's what they do. That's how galleries work. If, if you, <laughs> you gotta be invited to a gallery to have your your paint. This is how art works. If the, it was the paint my, is already done though. Listen, if it was my bar, if it was my bar, and I was like doing that joke, and I was seeing like people leaving. Let's say I don't think anybody left. Anything was that offended? But that's it, an indicator if people are leaving. Exa though. You're like you can't listen. This is a, plus he was very polite. He wasn't like, dude, you can't. You no. He was like, dude, can you just come on? I'm like, so yeah. What if right. you would? What if you politely said no? Because if he's asking you a yeah, question, yeah. That, well, could you have politely said no? I would no? have said no if I didn't see his point. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah, they were on the same page, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Were you? Do you Plus, by the joke? way, honestly, that that joke? Uh, other places? Every couple of months, I'm like, oh, maybe I should bring it back. And, then, I, the and then a fucking cop kills a black guy, and I'm like, I can't do it. <laughs> like, fuck. Can we stop I, I killing think, black people so yeah, I can go back to doing jokes? Yeah. See, that's a great way of bringing that joke up and using that joke and doing it. And the best part was what you said is that's, that the black people laugh at him, bro. That's a yeah. great, actually, that well, joke I might saw, work. I saw Peter out of the corner of my eye. He almost chipped his tooth for that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, uh, it's if a joke. Maybe, but maybe if anyways, you add that yeah, part to yeah, the yeah, joke. Yeah. So don't tell people how to do their comedy. By work. the way, of course, by the way, yes. I already, it's, it's already been... Yeah. <laughs> Part of me bringing it up was me testing that new line, by the way, guys. Just so you know, there is yeah. no more open mics. <coughs> Good. After you cough right on your hand, I like that. Beautiful. The back, 
It's all good. We're Q2 all gonna die in anyways. one week, we all have coronavirus. No, I just, I, they, sorry, because it hit me as soon as you said like that censorship. We just finished talking about yeah. that, and the guy's trying to censor you at an open. Mic. But he's, like, but he's okay with it though. That's, but that's you understand what I mean? Like, I'm not a. He was probably going to retire yeah. the joke. Yeah, because he just needed a little nudge. Like, if, it, if it bombs, then it bombs, and it bombs, and it ruins. What? It's, you make the decision, but it, not him. But it's not like a joke that was killing, and he goes, "Yo, look, yeah. I, even though that joke kills, you no, can't because say nobody, that here. because nobody would fucking say that. That's my whole fucking point of why I brought it up, and that's the whole reason why you. Do you understand? Yeah, but he agreed that it wasn't yeah. working. What, yeah, but oh, yeah. Under, and I agree that if I'm gonna, how can I say this? You are invited to a place of business to do your jokes, whether it's an open mic, whether it's a book show. Like, listen, please do the show here, or like, we'll allow you to do a show here. This is a place. It's not a governmental building where. Truly, like no, no. It's his. It's his bar. He's allowed to dictate. He can tell me if he want. Hey, yeah, by I the way, he that joke about uh, speakers. I don't want you to do it anymore. And then it's up to me to decide if I'm yeah, gonna come my back. My grandmother or not. was a speaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you know what I mean. And then it's up to me to decide if I want to come back or not. This is his free speech is also to tell me that. By the way, I don't want you to do that joke as That's much true. as I have a free speech. But to basically, do he's that telling joke. you don't, if you do that, you're not coming back here. It's also, is what you're pretty much saying. Yeah, but Basically. he's yeah, but he talked to me like two adults talking. It yeah, wasn't yeah, like yeah. listen, fuck face. <laughs> you can't, you can't, you See, fucking racist. Mm-hmm. Like he wasn't, it wasn't, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. it wasn't confrontational. He was speaking to a fellow adult, and he was like, uh, and I truly believe whatever all problems can be solved that way. If you're able to see the other guy's point of view, but this is I'm saying this because only one beer in. If I get two beers in, I might sound like him, but one beer in. All everything, everything can be solved one on one. If you hear what the other person has to say, because when it goes in writing, he has one more beer. We need militia. (laughs) That is so not true, bro. (laughs) Osama bin Laden was a great character. All right. (laughs) Why don't you tell that? It's the American media. I'm taking that. I'm taking that out of context. I'm gonna clip that out. Osama bin Laden was a great character. <laughs> the, the American media portrayed him as a horrible human being. Yeah. He was just a man who loved his wife. He was wives. a family man. Yes. He a was pioneer. a family man. He loved his daughters. You murdered him. Oh, man. To say that anything could be, like, theoretically, theoretically it can handled, be handled. But, yeah. um, and by the way, not, not, not only theoretically. No, no. Especially practically. I've seen it so many times. Especially practically. I'm telling you, yeah. Really? It's when two people just said, I'm like, all right, what's... Uh-huh. Now, what if one of them believes that if the other one is not a Muslim, he has to kill him in order for one guy to go into heaven? Yeah, and that, the other guy is not a Muslim. In fact, he is a complete uh, extremist in another extent. These two guys together are going to come together? No. Uh, are we talking personal experience here? Is it like something? <laughs> no, <laughs> no I'm giving that, you a hypothetical situation fucking, to prove the, that you're that's wrong. That's two total absence of, of freedom of speech, though. D- dude, that's... Uh, no, it's, you told r- me... Religious... No, no. By the way, yes, I think if you if you take two extremes and put them together in the same room, dude, in uh, in what, what year Arafat sat down with yeah uh, with uh, what's his name? It's not Yitzhak Rabin. No, that's a that's a generation yeah. before. Uh, Benjamin. I want to say Ari Shafir, but he's not like that's, <laughs> that's just a name of a Jew that I love. That's not no uh, Ariel. Sha- no, it wasn't Ariel Sharon. Sharon Netanyahu. Was but it Netanyahu? I think it was Netan. Was it Netanyahu? No, Netanyahu's there now. He's been there for a long time. Anyways, wasn't it Perez, Simon Perez? She, mm, I don't know, but there's a picture in my head. Oh, that was that was Camp Bill Clinton, Clinton and, Camp David. And, uh, that was Camp they shook hands, and uh, by the way, b- in both sides, a lot of fucking horrible things happened. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they sat down and they tried to make peace. I truly believe nobody is extreme like you say. There's that's why you hear of a few bombings in the world. A lot of people you will lived say in a place that got bombed. No, but yeah. wait, wait, yeah, but dude, it was a, it was like what ten percent of the, I'm again inventing numbers. Ten percent of the population who were holding arms and fighting. But that's what happens in everything. That's, that's all it takes you have the bell. Exactly. You have the bell. You have like the the, yeah. the, the extremist. Bell. You have the extremist. You have on one side people saying, if you if we take it in our case, like if you fucking tell me anything that I can't do, you should fucking go, blah, blah, blah. And, and die. Then you, and then you have the other, like the extremist ten percent that goes, if you breathe on me the wrong way, this is rape, whatever. You know what I mean? Like you have <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. The, the, exactly. You, those two extreme the thing is they're extremely loud. They're extremely loud. Yeah. And this it, it creates good media. <laughs> I guess so, especially when the media focuses on it. And, that, it's, and, it's, it, and there's a ninety percent is in the center who's like, I just don't give a fuck. Yeah. Do you think there's more yeah. extremists at the lower 
end of, of society or at the higher end of society? Lower. Oh. Because it's used for Whether power. It's, it's, I it's think used, it's... It's used, yeah. it's used its power. Like you said, the rich, the, 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 the 1%, to bring Fucking it back, have no religion. Are not no, religious. No, of course not. They believe in money and They believe else. in money and, right. and, and power and uh, whatever religion is going to give them the most power. And by the way, the and that sucks. Because when I was young and it was just the Jews, you were like, just, it's the, you know who they hate them. It's, it's, so it's, it's exactly. you, knew, you knew who to hate. Yeah. yeah. And then you're like, no, they have, they're lizard people. They have no fucking. <laughs> then you find out that fucking Saudi Arabia has like secret deals to buy weapons. And then they, and then you're like, oh my always, God, always. fucking money, man. Anyways, I can't wait to be rich and uh, not talk to you guys. And then, like, <laughs> fuck. And ex- well, like, I feel as usual. I, 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 <laughs> right. And just go on TV. I apologize. I said those things. Yeah, I, will, like, I, I was under extreme <laughs> I duress. I'm sorry. Uh, I, you're going exactly. to pill the, the Epstein on us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say <clears throat> I was uh, peer pressured into yeah. consuming marijuana. <laughs> marijuana. They gave me a drink, <laughs> and yeah, which after that everything I, became fuzzy. Be exactly. Like I didn't. They didn't open it in front of me. <laughs> I don't know what they put in it. Oh, is that why you asked us before? How do you like it? Maybe he's fucking double. He's double. He's coming back on us. This guy's three steps ahead of us. Fuck. Jesus. <laughs> oh, he has to go to the the bathroom. He was oh. injecting Rufalin into the beard. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. I hear ticking. He's not wearing a watch. Yeah, bro, bro. He's wearing a wire. Bro, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Connected to a button. Anyway, but you should do comedy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I, I, I am. am. I, I am. am. I am. <laughs> oh. Oh. Let me say this for the second episode here. Uh-oh. Don't make me pull up comedian on the screen because comedian I have this thing now, we're, now, we're, now we're, yeah. 40, uh, 40 episodes in the, the first definition the, of comedian of comedian yeah because yeah. like people do not he, b- he basically he's been getting mad at people who say we're not comedians yeah because why do comedians. you want to be called comedians by the way that's like above like like a you said retard yeah, it's it's like in show Scum business your women okay no no in, in show business <laughs> <laughs> Donkey, <laughs> comedian, clowns, <laughs> mimes. Yeah. I think we're like right below the people who yeah. blow bubbles. You know, like they. That's how much we respect the yeah. bubble people. The bubble people. The bubble, not, I think that's the correct. We're not word. respected. No, why? Why do we're not respected? Like who no, is, just, just the, the fact that like people think that this is this this is a comedian. The same thing with fucking uh, just labels get the, me nervous. People yeah. just people assume that you have to stand up on a stage with a mic in your hand to do comedy. No, no, of course not. Like, are you going to tell me Howard Stern's not a comedian? No, he's hilarious. But he's a- Anthony Cumia is not a comedian. You know, you could just say, I'm funny. <laughs> it doesn't have to be... You know oh, I mean? there you go. For, oh. for, 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 for a guy, for a guy, he's like, oh, Zers does, and why, those genders. Why does, why does, you're, you're offended that we're not calling you a fucking ah, comedian, bro. But, but why does... Yeah, but that's the opposite. Fuck it, I'm opening a second beer. Yeah. Let's yeah. We're coming for you, other 99%. <laughs> <laughs> uh... You know what I mean? Oh, you're, oh, you're, oh. you're, you're, you're. Listen, if I may, I think you're on the other side. Like you know, you have like the, and then you have, what do you and mean then, by then that? you what have a, yeah, you have a good platform for it, so that's good. But with time comes growth. <laughs> yeah, and we've seen it. We've seen yeah, it. I mean, uh, you see how condescending I was, putting my hand over his shoulder, and just oh, trying to know. establish put dominance. Your hand, put your I, hand on my lap. I, I apologize. <laughs> That was after when we oh, turned so off the camera. Is that what that means? I, I didn't read into that, but then the fact that you said it, this is me dominating yeah. you, yeah. really is, is, is what puts it in your yeah, head. Anybody you who go. touches your shoulder, you can go tell them to go fuck themselves. Oh, yeah, <laughs> your really? fucking hand I was, I was piece a, of I shit. I was on a date with this girl one time. I don't know what I did. I fucking... Uh, he calls it a date. <laughs> <laughs> she was passed out of the back seat. <laughs> I was about to say that. <laughs> we're, at, we're at a restaurant and... I don't know what I did. I was probably nervous, and I tapped her head like this. That's fucking. She crazy. lost it like I raped her mother. <laughs> I I might as well have slapped her in the face in front of the whole restaurant. Boop, boop. Yeah. She goes, "That's the most condescending thing yeah. that anybody ever did to me." I go, "Okay, you see my family. What happens uh, <laughs> when my dad wants to be condescending to me? He pats my head. I didn't know it was. Yeah, so I, I didn't just... know that. Mine punches me in the face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry." You had an easier life than me. sends me to my uncle's house. <laughs> yeah. Anal? My uncle used to call it shh. Mm. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Did you, what, what ended up happening on that yeah, day? Yeah, did, did you get a second Because, date? dude, by the way, any girl who yeah. sows that much passion, that means there's just, like, you could, you there's could levels. get. There's levels. There's You could levels. get yourself, like, you know what I mean? Like, that's, you could get yourself, I mean, if you're, you're, you're a smooth talker, you know, you could just bend it to, like, hey, listen, I apologize. I didn't mean to. Like, no, if you diffuse like, it then, properly, which yeah. I don't think you did. No. No, that might, that <laughs> might the fuck? If it'll make say- you feel better, you could pat me hey. on the head. Hey! <laughs> High fives the waiter. <laughs> Look at this bitch. Hey! hey. hey. 
just go suck my dick. Check out these balls. Pancakes, pancakes for everyone. <laughs> pancakes today. for everybody. I wasn't at an IHOP. I have a little bit of class. Uh, so, so what happened with her? What happened? How did the so after that happen? Did you bang? Uh, yeah, I actually banged her. <laughs> this is see. This is one of the, the the few stories I have that like I was so the way I picked this girl up I was like is this the, on the bleachers. You know, uh, the bleachers. He did. Not that bronze? At the park. Like, well, I, just, we're at the, I was at the park when they were chilling with my friends drinking beers. Yeah. And I was getting drunk, and uh, I went to go take a piss twice behind bushes. And the first time I went, I saw this broad reading a book, sitting down reading a book. And, you know, I'm like, fuck it. The second time I went to go take a piss, I was my buddy was with me, and we're, we're walking. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to go talk to this broad. You grab the legs. I grab the arms. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, go. Let that name one. Call back. All right. <laughs> yeah, I was so proud of myself. But day. how did you get? How'd you get it? What was the What was the slick? Oh, I used a dog. I used a dog. Hey, can I come? Can I pet your dog? Oh, she had a dog. Mm. Yeah, she had a dog. Some ugly, stupid, disgusting. You know, like the dog from. Uh, disgusting. You know, uh, disgusting dog. The fucking the the Don Cherry dog. That ugly fucking. Oh yeah. Stupid whatever the fuck terrier kind of thing it is yeah uh, ugly the, the dog. burn victim terrier yeah look, it looks like it <laughs> and looks i like bet he didn't has... say any of that no oh. I'm, your oh, dog's so, so cute, cute. Yeah. I, I have a funny story with that i uh <laughs> oh man okay so for a year for a year when before like i was starting doing comedy i didn't have money so i'm like all right i'm gonna work for uber so for one year i worked for uber great time 4.96 driver one Hell of the yeah. best in the city. Conversation I don't wanna, on point. I don't want to brag, guys, but it was a fucking good I Uber. Drive, right? yeah, I was driving people around. And if me you... and my people got that down. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? My dad's a cab driver, so you're absolutely Amazing. right. <laughs> and if if you don't like the now way, it, like now it's racist. <laughs> now, <laughs> when it's true, it's racist. If you don't want, if you don't like the people that you have in your in your car, you just start yelling in Arabic, and they'll get f- yeah. afraid and and run I, out. Maybe they were getting used to it by then. You know, uh, like they're like, oh, just another. So I'll give him two stars or whatever. Anyways, so I pick up this beautiful girl. It was like four in the morning, and she was going to the airport. She sits in the front. We start talking. Super smart girl. In the front? Yeah, yeah. Wow. She's doing a PhD in something. And who cares? In I, something. And I stopped listening smart. after that. Dude, smart. Like, smart. She's got the looks. Tremendous. So I, I drop her at the airport. She's like, oh, add me on Facebook. I had her on Facebook. Really? Pretty yeah. good. She was, like, trying to get a Whatever. She was going to the States at a university for something. So I'm like, hey. Let's go for a let's go for a drink, whatever. When she come when you come back, she's like, yeah, oh. sure. So I go to her, I go to her place, I go pick her up, not as her Uber driver. <laughs> Big Freak. difference. This was on the house. This was, was on not, the house. Not not as her Uber driver, yeah. but <laughs> if it doesn't go well, you turn the meter on and deny it. <laughs> it's like yeah, what? I'm not, huh? driving, I'm, not driving, I'm not driving you home for free, bitch. <laughs> that's it. That's that's the greatest. If she doesn't want to fuck, you turn the the, the, the drive first, back. first. You ordered a lobster on the first date. You know, and then you. Oh, I'm turning the, the meter on her, bitch, yeah. oh, man, and I'm taking the long funny. way. I'm taking yeah. the scenic route. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, there's a detour. <laughs> Shut up. So, so I, I get to her door. She's like, "Oh, by the way, my dog is, you know, she's got to pee or whatever." So, so her dog comes out, and I just look at her dog. And for I don't know for some reason at that time I used to take a lot of mushrooms. So I was extremely honest. Were you, you micro know, dosing again? Yeah, he's macro dosing for sure. Point. For sure, I was micro dosing. And I was just like, I'm like, man, you have a very ugly dog. No. Oh mm-hmm. my God! That you're they, better off. Yeah. Better off punching her in the ovaries. I mean, patting I mean, her head. No wonder why your numbers <laughs> are at, your head. No wonder why your numbers are at twenty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then the next week it happened better again. Better off calling her a whore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a stupid whore. But your dog's cute. Your dog's cute. Oh, you're so uh, sweet. Uh, uh, you're so sweet. That's what's funny is that I, I I wrote a joke about it. Like she. Right away, she just became like, like that. I'm like, oh, what? And I didn't think Did about it until it, no, no, no. She's like, like she was just offended. Anyways, we get to the restaurant. I'm trying to make jokes. Oh, you still went? Yeah, we still. This we is st- pre. You've yeah. already dug the hole before you even left the door. Before she got into the yeah, car you, slash ex Uber, like before, right, like right before. So we okay. get there. I held the door open for her or whatever, and she accused me of benevolent sexism, which is. I'm like, what's benevolent sexism? She's like, you're just being sweet and kind so that I fuck you. I was like, uh, yes. Yeah. That's yeah. called dating. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. called like, populating yeah. the earth. Again, that, by the way, that date ended up lasting three hours. And you fucked? No. Ah. No, no, no. I dropped her home and I'm like, I never want to see this human being. Like, we did not. It, I wasn't able to save it. I didn't pull. I didn't. I wasn't like, I didn't. No. Just she tap just, him on the head at that point. If you, I, sh- I should have tapped, adore, but I should have tapped her on the head. Now yeah. you know. If it's not going well, just. Like or when, his other moves. When the bill came, I should have said, it's all right. Yeah, I'll take yeah, care of it. 
Or his other move is the fingers uh, in the mouth. Don't tell this story. The fingers in the mouth is, is his other Wait, move. You, you did it on uh, un, uninvited? <laughs> wow. Dude, what the, we're 2020 and 2045. You're going to have to apologize about that story. He's already living in 2045. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, the fingers game, in buddy. the mouth? Wow. Amazing move. Did it work? No, she looked at me like I was a fucking retard. She's like, okay, what the fuck work, are you doing? It didn't work that we're time. The, we're in the back of a car. And I'm just like... <laughs> Nice, nice. It's not. Did you? How well did you know her? Second time, met first, that night. First time meeting her, I think. met that night. Yeah. But were you? But I you? heard she was a whore because she had banged two of my friends before that. But what, so do, I'm on a whore game right now. What were you? You? If you were you and she got in the car with you, I mean, she she, she would have accepted that. No, she. You know was, I mean? yeah, like, any girl that gets in in my car. I'm assuming expects fingers in their mouth. <laughs> like she knew your sense minimum, of, bare minimum. She, she knew that you have a, like a unique a sense of problem? humor. Mental problem. <laughs> I wasn't diagnosed at <laughs> that unique point. Unique sense yet. of mental I, I problem. Call, I call yeah. it a sense of humor. <laughs> you know, yeah, she know, no, but if she, she knew knows, you were all, you know, <laughs> funny and, sh- and yeah. guys, this is gonna be a, the great last episode. I'm gonna be on this podcast. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> Why? You're welcome back anytime. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I don't know if absolutely. you're going to want to come back after what you're doing to yourself here. We're having a great, great Did I time. Say, I haven't said anything. No, horrible. not incriminating. No, 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 no. The no. black guy says it's okay. No. <laughs> He's still here. Not as much uh, yelling in Arabic as I would have. Uh... <laughs> Give me a beer there. That's, LT, that's so. beer number three. But uh, yeah, I think if she, did she just react like, like hey man, don't, did she see you again? Uh, I wasn't date. This wasn't. I was. I wasn't on a date with her. It was just like she was a girl. I'm telling you, like this girl. Like I had heard at one point. Like we were like she was pretty much a I, gypsy. I, I didn't always look like this. <laughs> I was a good looking guy at one point. I didn't always look like and, this. Uh, like it was I was after the accident. I, 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 I was, <laughs> after I found that bucket of ooze, that vat of acid, <laughs> yeah, uh, vat of lard. We go back to India. All right. <laughs> and. Uh, it's like like you were talking about like but we've had like I don't make the brag here but like there's been like three four five gang bangs that have been like, <laughs> holy shit you know, dude fun oh. times fun times and, and so like I had missed one <laughs> uh, my friends are telling me this girl's down no, for I anything. wish you were there man this is Wait, I, I wish gang, you had been there a gang bang is how many girls and how many guys it was one girl and one like girl as many and as isn't a, that called a train based on my uh, yeah tomato yeah. tomato tomato we say we say uh, rape rape <laughs> <laughs> nice. It can't be a hacky rape joke, bro. Come on, listen. You want to be a comedian? We say, we say we say two is a battery, three is a train, four is a blood clot bobsled team. <laughs> that's how that's how we say as a joke. But any amount is uh, any amount is a, a battery or Sanka, a we good? <laughs> Sanka, you're dead. Oh man, how is it to fuck a woman Blood with fire. your like your friend? Oh, the best. It's super fun. Yeah, you create the bonds best. that did are guys, forged in did fire. Did you guys fuck a girl? Not us. Oh, I, that's why he 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 was wasn't at the gangbang that I was at, and I wasn't at the gangbang that he was at. I done I did one with Bruno. I've done one but with. We, uh, we're nice. Eskimo brothers though, me and Bruno. So. Yeah, I'm Eskimo brother with a. Dude, it's so, I'm so proud. I'm Eskimo brother with a black guy. I feel so proud. Yeah. I'm like yo, I got game. I didn't know I had game. So you fucking the same guys, the same girls as black guys. <laughs> Did you just say you fucked the same guy? Yeah, I I, I misspoke. Yeah. Uh, no, it, it was a girl. It was a girl. But uh, <laughs> let, let's go back because I never uh, like I, when I fuck. I want just it's me and the girl. It's like an intense one on one. You're or, a lover boy though. Yeah, I'm a it lover is. boy. You probably, yeah. like, you probably kiss her neck and whisper in her ear. Yeah, but I we still all do that. Though. But I still fuck her face. Like cer- don't. <laughs> okay, but I believe you, you gotta balance it out. You gotta, but you gently, gotta, but like gently, you know, you wipe the spit off her, off her. Oh eyebrow. yeah, definitely. There's kisses on the oh, mouth. Oh, look at what I got. Yeah, yeah. Look at what happened to my yeah, pretty baby. Yeah, but to me, it's like, well, <laughs> if I was gay, I, I would be fucking my friends like crazy. Right? I wish I was gay. I wish I loved. If I was gay, I'd be fucking my friends like, like crazy. Get him girl. another beer. The night is young. <laughs> no, but seriously though, like uh, that's how guys are, you know. So like, I figure like this is the closest I'm gonna get to fucking my friend. Because I'm not gay. It's okay. fucking a girl making eye contact with my friend. Yeah, yeah. and high fiving. There's been a, there's been a couple of weird scenarios, like you know, like. Uh, but why won't you fuck your friend? Because I'm not gay. <laughs> it's not. It's only gay if you. I don't know. Back. You're making eye contact with another gay. There's like ten yeah, percent gay. Not, it's okay. No, but I, yeah. But first of all, I like poems. Uh, We're all a little gay. <laughs> first of all, you know how you know you're gay. I like the smell of potpourri. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell this joke for fifty for the fiftieth time. You know, you know how you know you're gay. I'm potpourri. <laughs> how? Because first of all, I'm sure getting fucked in the ass feels good to a certain point. So that's out. Yeah, we, we, I got a finger up my butt and, and I didn't it, enjoy you it. You didn't enjoy no? it? No. Either way. Because first of all, it was my Jewish girlfriend. Uh, and, she was, and she was like, you like this? <laughs> was your finger circumcised? Was it? A, she put her nose in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> she did. That was but, the fuck, dude. 
No, I didn't. I didn't. It was like, mm. she okay. was like, mm. so, so, so I basically, to, to, in my opinion, to be gay, you gotta, you gotta suck cock because that's the gayest thing on, in the world. There, I've, I've heard apparently in the gay community, there's not a lot of butt fucking. Like that's a oh, yeah? common myth. That's a common misconception. Yeah, it's a, yeah. It's, I don't so, think anybody loves anal that much. I think really porn. I know. I don't even stuff. like anal. Like to be honest. Well, anyway, so to be gay. <laughs> yes. Let's you, go back to be. You, to you be gotta, gay. you gotta suck dick and. To be more specific, you gotta enjoy sucking. <coughs> you gotta enjoy it, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So now the it's, thing, the yeah. thing about that is, like, people say, "Well, if you suck one dick, then you know you're gay." Well, no. Like, it's it's like certain foods. Have you ever had liver before? Like beef liver or chicken yeah. liver? Did you like it the first time you had it? Like metallic. Uh, like metallic, metal. not that good. But like, you you can't say like it was terrible forever. Maybe it was the chef, right? So you gotta try chicken liver. Okay. Or I think I had chicken liver before. Or, or yeah, sucking on a dick. Bagel. Yeah. Ten times. How have you ever? And and if you like it more yeah. than six. More than six? No, six. More than five. More than so six. If, yeah. If you like it more than if you like it six times, oh, you're it's good. It abides you're, to the laws gay. of like uh, over it's, fifty. It's, it's, listen, yeah. it's mathematics, right? It's straight. Well, it's, it's it's listen. So for me, I, yeah. I sucked. I sucked seven dicks, didn't like any of them, but I sucked the other three just to be sure. Okay. Are you being serious? <laughs> no, but I'm just saying. This so just... many people ask that question after you tell that joke. Because he made eye contact when he said that. <laughs> he had as his if hand on like, my leg. As if he was saying number 11 is open. <laughs> like, I felt... <laughs> I'm, at, I'm at nine I'm like, right Is this now. why I was invited here? I'm at nine right now. And, uh... No, Peter was nine. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go after Peter. No, I know. I know. This is not... Few can. This is not Peter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh that's God. that's why the whores in Thailand charge more for black guys. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, he's got stories. I had him on my podcast. I didn't know him that much before I had him on my podcast. So I thought like, oh, we'll talk comedy. We'll do a few jokes. He's like, yeah, I went to Japan, and I went to, Vietnam. and then I'm like, what? Huh? <laughs> Details. Great Cause, stories. Because I was I was doing my research to get a prostitute. Have you ever guys ever fucked a prostitute? Yeah, I'm just gonna say yeah. 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 <laughs> It, what, is it this worth week? it? Because I'm a truthful guy. This yeah. week. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it worth it? Uh, listen, I'll, let me tell you a little bit. Of thing. Number one, do your do your research. Okay. N- number two, don't go by the pictures that are on the thing. <laughs> Fuck, that's all I have. You got to text uh-huh. message them. The best way is you go to Merp, Montreal Escort Review Board dot com, and then you look at the things and you have reviews, and then you go by the people that have reviews. I think uh, Peter's handle there is Skyblade ninety nine. You can find them. <laughs> Spell that. He's got, he's, he's got four hundred and forty eight reviews. Thing. Claudio Capri is write that down. Write is that down. Uh, Silvio yeah. S- Stud Merp. Silvio. Merp. Yeah. Merp, M-E-R-B. Silvio Stud. M-E-R-B, Middle Eastern. Uh, Middle Eastern <laughs> Rebels bombing. <laughs> uh, it's, it's Montreal Escort Review Board. Uh, uh, dot com, I think. Dot com. Yeah. Or whatever. You'll mention my name. <laughs> you'll, you'll get it. Mention Jofo Wofo 10. <laughs> get a guy. <laughs> <laughs> And you'll get you 10% us. off every you horse. Your next whore. You got, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do that. Well, fuck, Kyle that. would be our number one customer there. <laughs> be getting all kinds of fucking, uh... Oh, my God. Dude, you gotta. <laughs> that would be amazing. You, you want to establish a brand, as they say? Well, we're, yeah, we're, we're trying to get beers we're, here. This we're is trying to really, get... I need more beers here, Tico. Oh, you just ask. Natasha. Call Natasha. Yeah. Uh, mention yeah. Joe Fo 10. There's one right there. I'm, Grab that. Oh, it's yeah. his. No, no, I'm, here we go. No, that's yours. No, no. He I'm not ju- gonna have three beers, bro. I'm not gonna have three beers. It's okay. Thank you. Here. Now I need one. No, you know where they are, Peter. Let's go. <laughs> How'd you get here? Not now. Not now. It's it's a bad timing. To go get it's, no. No, but Peter, could you please get me a beer? Yeah. You know, Peter, yeah. please. I like he, he delegated. This May kid. you get me a beer? Oh, Peter was telling us. Peter, can I tell the porter thing? Can I say the porter story? He was telling oh, us how God. he was a, a porter. Like, you know, I'm like, what the fuck is a porter? He's like, he's, oh, I'm, I used to bring the bag, bags a for porter. people. You know, I'm like, oh. I'm a like, porter. I'm like, 40 years ago, we used to call that a slave. <laughs> you know, and then he goes, he goes, yeah, it, made, it makes sense. He goes, now it makes sense why they, someone put a bale of cotton <laughs> on, on, on the fucking, uh, on the dolly, you know? And he's like, ah, they were just Amish, though. Oh, and he goes, ah, no, I'm just kidding. The Amish don't come to hotels. They were racist. Got, got- <laughs> You guys, you were in your 30s, right? You, you remember there was like for maybe a couple of years, maybe three years, when you went clubbing, uh, when you went to the washroom, there was like a washroom guy? Yeah, that still yeah. exists. That still exists? exists? I'm yeah. just sort of old and I just, I just can't afford, uh, I can't afford bars. <laughs> I can't afford like fancy clubs. 
So that's yeah. still the case. There's still a guy in the washroom. They had a guy at Thursdays downstairs. They had a guy who with the wow a Anyways, bathroom attendant. I, I won't. And it was a, like it was a black guy, and he was wearing a, like a necktie, like a little. And he was very polite, and I felt very weird. Really? Eh? Yeah. I already can't. I, first shit. of all, I didn't no. like the fact that no. he was there was somebody there no, handing me gum. <laughs> that's true. What I don't the, like the fact that someone's that in there. Yeah. Like they have all so, kinds of machines to avoid this guy. Yeah. There's yeah. the automatic paper dispenser, the blowing dispenser, the water thing that doesn't even you don't have to touch to turn what, on. What does he do? He, Why do we need this guy? He for. puts the paper on your shoulder to, to Listen, fucking for you I to grab from not, here. I will not criticize anything he does. The amount, like the balls. No, to I'm just do saying that. there's no reason. There's yeah, no reason. there's absolutely no reason. Yeah. Absolutely no reason. I want to take a loud shit, you know? Yeah. I don't want people in there. Yeah. Working. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to leave this stank with this poor guy. Yeah. That's why I feel yeah. bad. Yeah. You know, the, the 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 art of comedy is to just not give a fuck. Like when you're on stage, just not give a fuck. And I don't yeah, think I think that's any the art of life. But but comedy is to do that with your words. Like yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you're able to do that here. You know, that's yeah, to do yeah. that on stage where like have the people hating you and whatever. To to have to have the balls to do what that guy does, man, respect. I don't think any comedian. I will think have... that's desperation is more than anything, bro. Wait, yeah, but still, the, dude, the he could work at Pharmapri, but he's like, I know if I do this, I can fucking make tips. like tips, tips, drunk tips too. Exactly, exactly, drunk tips. Racist twenty, or you get tips yeah. from from racist yeah, people, I've, I've and you paid, get I've tips from guilty people. I paid twenty dollars for a people. piece of gum once before, you know. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. You know yeah. Right? So all right, I'll give him the twenty. This is for all night. <laughs> So I'm gonna be pissing. Yeah, I'm not gonna diss somebody's hustle, but no, uh, of course not. I, but I definitely yeah. uh, it doesn't make me comfortable. Okay, uh, I uh, <laughs> I, w I went to Miami when my friend got married, and there was a guy in the washroom. And I, I I like to like if there's too many people, I go to the stall to pee. I like some privacy, and I he was the there. Time. He was there, so I always kept going to the stall. I thought you were doing coke. And he's like, bro, you can't do that here. I'm like, ah. and I'm like, I never been accused of doing coke. I'm like, bro, come on, come on. And I just gave him a 20 and I left as a baller in Miami. I was just drinking like fucking. Let me do my <laughs> cocaine. The, the, he told the me, bro, like, you, see, you can't do that here, man. You, can, you can't. You're like, come on. I just come gave him 20. On. And I just did, just faked it. Just fake being uh, cool because I'm in Miami. Every time you go in now. This guy, <coughs> this, guy, this guy thinks I'm cool. Yeah, that <laughs> rarely happens. I think you're cool, bud. Ah, thanks, brother. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, you are. Good I'm stuff. here for good the pity. Times, Thank you. Good times, good times. Did, did you say the pay? The pity. Oh, okay. <laughs> the There's no pay. Here. I, pity. So I'm good. what? Uh, uh, besides co comedy, yes. How do you make money? I teach. I'm really? a teacher. Yeah. Teach. I teach English to little Chinese kids. Oh, our yeah. friend does that in China. Oh wow. Yeah. I do that in my living room online. It's great. Wow. Yeah. That's that's genius. Do you know any Chinese? I know. Uh, I learned a couple of sentences. I don't know what that means. It means can I smoke here? No, of course not. He's <laughs> talking to four year old Imagine. kids. <laughs> like, and then I light up my shisha. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <sighs> Double apple. <laughs> <laughs> Raspberry puff. So. No, I, I know, I know Tsong Ming, which means smart. Like, oh, Tsong Ming. And I know Wo Wei Ni Gian Dao Zhao Ao, which means I'm proud of you. Basically, the two things I never been told when I was a child. <laughs> I tell them. I tell them to the kids. Yes, exactly, exactly. That's cool, Ali. That's nice of you. That's yeah. nice of you. <laughs> that is cool. It's yeah. it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fun job. It's it's a bit. It's, if you guys want to go there, it's very cheesy. I have nothing. Uh, go cheesy. Just, yeah, because it's ah, you're making it, money. Yeah, yeah. It's cute. Like I'm just with kids for yeah, like, yeah. three hours and a half. You ever tell them teach them how to say stupid things? Uh, I. Like, did they, did they really. ever ask you how to say swear words and you oblige? No, or anything? No, no. no. Oh no, they're they're young. They're like five years old. Yeah, yeah. Our our, our buddy, our, our friend in China, our buddy sent us a video <laughs> of uh, of two Chinese. I can't. I don't know where it is. I wish I could find yeah. it. It's just a little Chinese kid. He's like, say Armando is <laughs> a, a fag. A fag. <laughs> I, the kid's just like, just, Armando, Armando is a fag. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, so good, Freddie. Pico good. is a loser. <laughs> Oh, Pico is loser. That's yeah, adorable. Yeah. Coming from the mouth of kids is very nice. Yeah. Well, I teach him, you know, like democracy is the you know the only way. To, <laughs> you know, <laughs> overthrow the government. Yeah. I don't have to say fag to be politically yeah. incorrect over you there. Can do, you can say you know, a lot less. <laughs> Power to the people. <laughs> yeah. You know, but in a constructive uh, way. Civil rights. <laughs> no, no. I, I try to. It, you have to remember, they're not at school. They're more free now. I'm. They're home, so it's after school. Their parents are kids not kids in far. China. Yeah. 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 Wow, so they're they're in China, but at, in their home, and I'm like the Did guy. You have to get like a certificate of some sorts. Yeah, yeah, I got it from Groupon. 
four ninety five. The best. It's great. No, you have to do a course, right? Obviously. Yeah, yeah. Four ninety five off Groupon. Oh. I'm not gonna lie. Four hundred and ninety. No, no. Four dollars and ninety five cents off Stop Groupon. It. It's very easy to get that certificate, guys. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Like, Apparently. To cheat. Yeah, to cheat. But I also like. I have a bachelor and a master's, not in education, but I, I came like with a. Russian literature. What do you have uh, your bachelor and master's in? Uh, I uh, my bachelor's in mechanical engineering. That's sick. And my master's <laughs> is in aerospace engineering. What? Yeah. And you're here. That's why I didn't get laid that much, bro. Because I was busy fucking studying. <laughs> and you want to be a comedian? Wow. Yeah, man. You should be like the CEO of something. I took mushrooms, you did, bro. You, you That's the it, problem. You did it to, I you fucking did it to took please your mushrooms. Parents? Oh yeah, listen, right now they'd be happy if I told them I'm gay. So it's too late for that. <laughs> they're just proud of everything you do? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're happy that I'm working now, you know. Like they're like before the quarantine I was starting to make a little bit of money with comedy, you know, doing shows and everything. But nah, it's Yeah, okay. it's a big fucking uh That's a it's a leap. <sighs> yeah. Soon. So, so you then. have a fucking you're a mechanical engineer? Uh, first of yeah. all, I have Used no to. idea what the, what the fuck do they do? <laughs> they engineer mechanicals. <laughs> <laughs> they engineer mechanics. <laughs> You know when you see mechanisms? That's them. You know popular mechanics? <laughs> every time you see unpopular a gear, mechanics. <laughs> every time you see a gear going into another gear, he uh, did it. I'm, I'm gonna steal that one. <laughs> I'm popular mechanics. Because oh. my my cousin is an engineer too, and he went to Dubai. Like he's he's successful. He lives in Milan now. Like he, but like uh, trying to ask him what he does. I don't know what the fuck he does. Uh, <laughs> wow. I don't know. I don't think they know what they. That's one of those jobs where like. Yeah. Uh, well, you end up being specialized in one thing or so, yeah. Yeah, but as a mechanical engineer, yeah, yeah. like what, what is it? Like, do? Give me oh, your yeah. day job. What are you walking into? Like, like, my, you my, my last job? Chain? No, no, that's civil engineer. My last job, uh, I was a structural analyst of satellite antennas. Okay, so yeah. satellite antennas yeah. in space. Yeah, yeah. There's a couple of things in space right now that have my uh, my brain, brain, my brain in them. Yeah, sick. Yeah. But it, it gets boring after a certain point. Well, I can you, imagine. You, you take enough mushrooms and you're like, why am I working on a fucking satellite? But what do you yeah, like, you've, you've, you've sent one satellite into space. You've sent yeah, 100. Once, once, you've sent, once you've spent one Sputnik, they're all the same. <laughs> um, Sputnik 2? <two? laughs> I, I, listen, but like, yeah. What are you doing? Like You're calculating the dimensions of the satellite, per se? Uh, no. Okay. So when you have something, anything... Around get this. ready for the most education you're ever going to get <laughs> on this show right now. Okay. So, I'm going to try to talk, say it in... Uh, so in layman's terms. In layman's terms, yeah. So or retard. Anything, <laughs> anything that exists is under forces. You okay. know what I mean? Like right now, he's laughing. The table is shaking. Inertia. This, uh, iner that's one of the words. Yeah. <laughs> that's the word. Kinetic energy. <laughs> so yeah. So anything that is when you design something, you design it to take a certain load, like okay. to take. It. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, I'm a comedian. We can, I'm holding back here. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. So, everything <laughs> is, is made to, to, to take a certain force, like to take a certain force over time. Uh -huh. some, some forces are like static. When I mean static, it's just like, for example, the weight of this table is the same weight always. Un so, unless we're leaning, me and static, him are we're leaning on it. Static, <laughs> well, static means the same. Oh, exactly. Don't, don't okay. okay. Some forces are like, for example, when, when you work on a satellite, some forces are random because you have like a huge rock, it just, uh -huh. so it's, it's like shaking. So these are like random forces, random vibrations that the thing has to go through. Some forces are uh, fluctuating. Fluctuating. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah. Variables. Yeah, variables. So you have to take into account all that. So the, the designer will come with a designer. He'll give me this. He's like, what do you think? And then you got to do analysis to like, okay, maybe you should thicken that part, remove that part, redesign this thing. And maybe we should move this here. Okay. And stuff like that. Yeah. And stuff so it's like puzzles. Like that. Uh, and you're yeah, going... And yeah. Problem yeah. solving. Lego. I would say Legos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah but and you're like, you're testing this because you have formulas. You know that under, under this pressure, you need this thickness or you need this material because well, you know this already because let, that's let, your job. Let's take this. This needs to go to space, for example, and then you calculate that uh, there's a force here and it does this. Like, I'll show the camera. Like, let's <laughs> say it bends it this way. And you don't want it to bend this way because you have like a special component here. So what you do is that, let's say, we'll thicken this so uh -huh. it doesn't take the bend over here. But then you thicken it and then you realize that all oh, the weight is not balanced. <laughs> yeah. 
So you have okay. to optimize it and you gotta keep working and then you design it and then you fabricate it and then you uh, test it on like a huge crazy it. machinery. Oh yeah, yeah there's I, a lot of this. Okay. And then you test it on crazy, amazing machinery. Like that's the thing I loved a lot. I, I started doing it towards the end because they don't give it to like newbies where you test components worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's cool. And uh, you put them on a huge table and it's like shaking like, rah, 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 and you're watching this and, and you're like, like please. What's gonna work? Is it gonna hold? Oh, dude, every day. <laughs> yeah. Like for a second, you forget your whole education. Am I gonna get fired right now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude. Is this How am I going to cost the company 300 is, grand today? Is this going to oh, explode, dude. kill everybody A satellite in the room? is like $250 million. And, oh. like, and, and, and if you, you don't want to fuck up exactly, like, oh my God, this antenna is worth 300,000. <laughs> I hope I did my calculations yeah. right. I'm I sure didn't... you go an extra in, a millimeter thickness every time. You it's, know? Just like, like, yeah. it's just like you're doing it, you're like, it's, it's holding on, it's yeah. holding on. It finishes. Yeah. And then, <laughs> fuck! Oh, dude, it's sometimes you have to, it won't break, but to, to, to measure accelerations, like to measure the forces, you gotta put little little things that has, it like little chips, let's say, little bugs that measure things. But the thing is, they're ah, sensors. They, they're sensors, exactly. And the sensors, they're uh, they're glued with like a special glue that doesn't affect the product. But sometimes the glue is not strong enough to withhold the forces. Yeah. So you have to go. Okay, the sensor now is gonna gotta, fall. You even gotta fucking engineer the glue. Oh yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Oh, you gotta take the glue of the sensor into effect. Bro, yeah. it's space glue. What kind of it's horse like... is this glue made from? <laughs> yeah, what kind of horse? Is that true that it comes from the horse's uh... bones? So yeah, horse bones. Yeah, I think so. Anyways, it's <laughs> it, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it's it. Clydesdale glue. But uh, man, I remember the last project I was working on. It was for a satellite for a bank. For I'm a like, bank. Yeah, and it was like my I, I was starting to take mushrooms. I'm like, why the fuck does a bank need a fucking five hundred million dollar satellite? Yeah, and I remember having the, like that. That's when it all started. The one percent. So this cool, like this uh, conversation, conversation this, this with discourse. with somebody at work, and he was like, <laughs> like he wait, like he didn't know. He knows too much. He knows too much. Like, like, yeah. I, like I have a family, bro. I'm not gonna yeah. join. <laughs> you. I'm like, oh, this is. I was having fucking anxiety attacks. I'm like, I can't. And I was like falling in love. Operation Pelican. <laughs> <laughs> I, I plugged out of the the matrix or whatever. Yeah. So you just so you just literally stopped doing that and said, comedy, comedy, <laughs> poverty. <laughs> and then how do you know uh, how do you know Kyle? Because I seen you uh, uh, I've comedy seen you through, through seen the you comedy twice world. at uh, Offbeat. I think he's a he's a pervert. He's a creep like me. Like so us. we we bonded right away. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I used to shave my head. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nazis. Nazis, exactly. <laughs> We bonded right away. He likes to like do fucked up jokes, and I like to do fucked up jokes. Indeed, and he, he does. Uh, he's, and he's, he's and he's a, a good, good guy. He's like a he's good a good guy. Fucked up sense of humor, but he's a good guy. Yeah, well, most yeah. of us are. Yeah. Like I said, we're not rapists because we tell rape jokes. Not yeah, all exactly. of us. Not all of us. I can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't speak for all of us. You can speak for everyone except for yourself. <laughs> you guys, can I, I go pee? Is that yes, cool? Uh, if you go pee? Yeah, of course. Unless we're, are we uh, ending this soon or? Well, how long have we been going? Jesus, is that? Oh, okay. Let's, yeah, uh, let's, let's just start pulling out. Okay. Yeah, we'll pull out. We'll go. We'll all go take a piss together. Uh, <laughs> so we'll play swords. Anything you want to? Uh, you want to plug anything? Start plug starting night. Yes, your, uh, guys. Oh my God. Thing. Yes. Follow me on Instagram at a a a m e r dot r e z, and uh, watch my show Starry Night. Uh, conversations with really friendly, interesting comedians. Lend him your ears. Lend me your ear for another. Send them by night. mail. Yeah. <laughs> if, you want. if if you liked. I don't know why there's music playing in my ears. We're, we're pulling oh, out. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, if if you enjoyed everything that I said today, join me and uh, yeah, that's it. At Amarez, uh, try, I try to post one every day. And then when comedy starts again, I fucking I'll be there. He'll be there. We'll be there, and we'll keep you Come posted, Jofo Mofos. As always, you can check us out on uh, Jofo.tv. Subscribe, like. Uh, Jofo in the ring Wednesdays Jofo podcast Monday night And we'll keep you posted On Amher's uh, Future endeavors It's uh, at Alcoholics, Alcoholics Anonymous, Anonymous I, had to, I had to say that joke Because I said I didn't get to say it on camera So <laughs> I had to do it uh, Yeah that's pretty much it Thank you to Bangia once again Get Bangia.com Jofo Mofo 10 10%, 10% And uh, Teeks Jofo Tracks Jofo Three X's for twenty percent off subscription on Jofo.tv. Go check us out. Thank you very much, Jofo Mofos. Thank you, Amr, for Thank coming you. through. And soon discount on Merb for your yeah. favorite Natasha. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got discount whores. <laughs> <laughs> Check us out. out. As always, thank you. Pulling number. Out. Guys, thank you so much for having me. Thank, thank you, you man. Thank you for coming on. Peace. That was great. First of many right. times, Salute. if you could, please. Official Jofo Mofo. Yeah. Ah, what an honor. <sighs> Peace. Thanks, guys. Thank you for watching. I 
lobby Post it in the condo, you know how it go Gotta keep that shit simple What up, Jofo Mofos? Tico League, eight of the tracks, we're back We are indulging in a little bit of granita Courtesy of Pasta Mav You can get all your pasta and granita there. Mm. Sausages, smoked ricotta, all kinds of delicious exactly. Fuck, this is fantastic This is really good Pasta Malfi on Instagram. Not to be confused with Pasta Amalfi. It's a fusion word. Pasta Malfi. Go check them out. Wow. Frank would be proud. That's great. You know what makes that better? A little bit of what? So you cleanse the palate. Someone's screaming my name. Hey! You, so you clean the... <laughs> I don't know who it is. You clean the palate. Who is that? Who is it? Somebody who has no respect. That's who. You cleanse the palate with the granita, and then you take the bong rip. It's exceptional. Yeah, so you have a little bit of that. Would you pass that over? I don't know. Put it on here. Mm. Perfect marriage. Perfect marriage. It's actually, this is actually really fucking delicious, man. Too bad Booty couldn't try any. There's no left. Don't forget. <coughs> don't forget to check out getbongia.com. For all your bongs, paper, uh, accessories, rolling trays, fucking candles. candles, everything you need to make a hot pot. I got a brain freeze. Use Jofo Mofo. I got a brain freeze. Promo code. I got a brain freeze. To get 10% off all your bong needs. That wasn't. Holy shit. <coughs> That's some good granita. Who was that? <laughs> so Jofo Mofos, don't forget to shop local. Get your bongs at Pasta Malfi and get your granita at Bongia. I mean, get your granita and pasta at Pasta Malfi and your bongs at GetBongia.com. That's right. And don't forget, Monday nights, 9 p.m. Check us out. Think she is an info, real free cool. She gon' do as I say so. I be posted in the condo, you know how it go. Gotta keep that shit simple with the wifey. Think she is an info, real free.